Um, are we back? I think I just had a, like, a, a shitty connection. Okay. All right, please refresh the browser. Chat, everybody refresh if you don't see the stream. I should be live. Are you guys here? We good? We good? We good? Anyway, I sent my breakfast in Discord. Okay, there's also an ad about to play. If you guys get the ad, we'll wait to start and everything until the ad uh, is over. So thank you in advance for watching it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, um, one second. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Um, Discord, Discord, Discord photos. Maybe my internet's just a turd today. Yeah, dude, it's dropping frames again! Damn! <gasps> That's crazy! Whoa! They got bowls! That looks amazing. That looks so good. The fridge is taking up the Wi-Fi for real. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me double check. Let me make sure I don't have like any extra things open. And hmm. let's hard close Steam. Let's do that. On the off chance it's doing some like background process. If not, I'll go restart a router, I guess. Dude, I'm just out here, you know, pooping up everything we do. I try to pre-prep for stream and then, you know, it, then, then whatever my pre-prep is, I'm like ready early for once and then it does, then, then it goes poop poop, so. Thought my internet was just poopy today, it might be that too. I don't know, yeah, it's really weird, thank you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should see the stream then, the fridge is... <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's being weird. Okay, it seems to have, like, stopped since I turned off Steam. I wonder if it was, like, doing some weird background thing. Um. Okay, as of right now, we dropped 333 frames, but we haven't dropped more. So I guess I'll look in like five minutes and then see if it's up. Okay, hi! I don't know if the ad's gonna play. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it looked like there was none, but you know, who freaking knows? Okay, let's, we'll pray that it's fine. And I guess we'll see if for some reason it's not. Um, Okay, just a warning, turning horror mode on subs will cause scare alert and yeah what about the ps5 oh shit that's smart usually it's upload that causes the issues though usually i can download stuff and you guys don't notice that's the problem um me and just not even knowing where stuff is doesn't look like it yeah, I don't know. Is the ad playing? It seems like it hasn't started yet. I don't know. We'll pause once it starts. Uh, okay, we've dropped more frames. Great. It's at 5.03 now. Hmm. Let's just go for, like... We'll give it another, like, 20, 30 minutes. Unless it gets unbearable. See if it chills its tits. And then if it's weird, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll decide if today is a bad stream day or not. No worries. We think are stopping by nonetheless. Okay. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't see the ad. I'm. It feels like it's like... It, it, what I would do next is I would restart my PC and the router at the same time. That's how I would fix it. But... Obviously, that requires me restarting the stream once again, which is a pain, but we could do that. Um, we'll just see if it continues to be shitty. Let me know. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, uh, it could just be, I mean, naturally, if your internet's just having fluctuation, 
naturally that happens right like a little here a little there a few drops whatever but it's just if it continues um then your latency gets all uh, yeah so we'll just see okay thank you for your patience with it and everything all right welcome back everybody um i don't know if the ads get a play it doesn't seem like it so we're just gonna continue so we did the the lapis eye key and um and everything but yeah and also thank you guys for all indulging me in my um excitement about a a, a, re a refrigerator in my room <laughs> okay are any of you guys like lazy in the point where like do you hate getting out of like wherever you're like if you if it's your room or it's like wherever like do you relate do you relate to like wanting like stuff like available so like for me i have to go upstairs to go to the water dispenser so it's like inconvenient so like me having a water dispenser in my room is like the coolest thing ever like i'm the most i have a mini fridge but i don't keep water in there you know as and it also like freezes everything and makes everything sweaty like it's not consistent so i mostly only keep like soda in there and like juices so like i'm i'm hyped for it so thank you guys for indulging me in my in my overly excitedness wait is this are you gonna let me down can i can you get down please thank you <laughs> i'm glad that we all bonded over it i'm excited i'm excited about it also you guys will be proud of me i've been keeping up with my workout i did my workout before stream i am very sore today and i'm proud of myself so yeah <laughs> i got so sore from my ab stuff i need to add a little bit of arm stuff um tomorrow so but i did good i i did a lot of abs yesterday so today i did more legs and then tomorrow i will do my base of everything that i'd normally do thank you for head pats I'll do my base of everything that I normally do, but then I'll also uh, do, I'm going to extra do arms tomorrow. That's my plan. Man, now I can't give Mizu a fridge for her birthday. <laughs> stop. 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 You're not allowed to give me anything for your friendship. It's the best gift. I still can't believe that Lena liked my comment on Twitter. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> I'm such a sim. I have a pro I have a very deep problem with like I I definitely am like that weirdo with the with the parasocial like obsession. Hey, it's 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 it, yo, I think okay, the biggest problem with me being parasocial with people is that I'm slightly the tiniest bit famous. I'm not famous. I don't think I'm famous, but I also realize that I'm not nobody. <laughs> and so it makes it even freaking weirder when I'm weird <laughs> because I am not not somebody. Like, you, so like sometimes they notice me and I'm like, I was just parasocialing in the corner. Stop it. <laughs> I'm just a fan. You're not allowed to be friendly to me. <laughs> You're like, that is the most unrelatable thing that's ever come out of your mouth, Mizu. Shut up. <laughs> it's like Miko. I'm like, just like, I, I assume that she will never notice me. And yet, like, we damn sometimes. So I'm just the weirdo who just can't, can't get over that. Uh, but yeah. Hi, Hagen. How are you doing? If I were a fridge in the next room over, uh, just out of the hallway, then it's top tier. If it were a fridge the next room over, just out of the hallway, then it's top tier. Right? Yeah, no. I have to go upstairs. I have to go upstairs. I had a mini fridge, so I can't complain. But, like, I have to go upstairs for, like, all the main stuff. I do have a, like, a microwave and, like, a little oven thing down here. And then, like, a freezer. But I didn't have any water down here. Except for, and then the, the like, Norva's bathroom. So, um, so yeah, it's hype. <laughs> no worries. Enjoy your breakfast. I'm so jealous. 
<laughs> Thank you for posting pictures. Please like send more pictures of like cool stuff that I can. <gasps> do you guys? Do, uh, I don't know if it's like as big because it's like mostly a uh, Japan thing. But do you guys have like 7-Elevens with like weird food? Because I think that's so cool. <laughs> A fridge in the same room as mid. The heat coils on the back heats up the room. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I already have crazy PCs. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Thank you for had Pats, by the way. And how is everybody doing? And I already knew that what I was getting you for birthday will be a bit early, but that's because it comes out before you. What? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what it could possibly be then. 7-Eleven, yes, we do in Hong Kong. Yo, do you get cool stuff? Okay, go, go, go. Before your pee, you see the, like, dice. Can I sample, uh, can I sample you saying, enjoy your breakfast from a, for, a, for a metal song? Me? For a metal song? Saying, enjoy your breakfast? Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. What? How does that work for a metal song? Enjoy your breakfast! Yes. Please do. Please use voice samples for all the things. I will find it very entertaining. Anytime. One year that they've been watching me. So many pills they fed me. When a loud hour comes, I tremble every time the light falls. I really find... Um... Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle. 14, 15, 16, 1... There's a lot of numbers. There's a lot of numbers on here. What is it for it? For the little padlock. Oh, when a loud hour comes. I mean, so we need to look for a clock before it still was like 9, 10. I tremble every time the light falls. So I need to... Is this going to be a fucking Morse code? It's like... Tss, 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 and I have to like... Watch it go dark. Is it just two? What do you guys think? You think the answer is two? Can somebody remember that for me? That light is... The light is two? Thank you. Hi, Swifty! Hi! Please let me know if our, we're dropping too many frames, guys. I still feel... Oh, okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five... Wait. Yeah, that's six. Six pills. Two light. Six pills, two light. What do you think the answer to that is? Do you think it's six? Bell, hello. Yeah, please let me know if the if if the if the stream is too glitchy. When a loud hour comes, how am I supposed to know what that is? I see like a lot of like rust downward, but. Number maybe. <laughs> What's your question? I wonder if they will turn the, my power off again today. Last night at 1 a.m. they turned the power off because they're working. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Are they? Do they tell everybody too? That's always nice when it's like planned and in, 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 in like a nighttime like. My internet company, I swear, just does, like, alerts and stuff, like, like at, like, 11 sometimes. And I'm just like, can you wait? Can you do it at least, like, 2 or 3 a.m., please and thank you? Okay. Oh, I think it was 7. It looks like it's been bent. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Oh. Oh no! 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 Two! It's a two! 
It's the loud one is two. Surely I'll hit one of them. Oh, it farts. There's one behind me, isn't there? Okay, I wake up at 2 a.m. I don't want to wake up at 2 <laughs> Okay, so the loud is 2. Okay. Um, I wasn't blind. I just, you know. So it flashes 2. And hello? Okay. I really am not, like, into leaving any bodies. What do you guys think, chat? So you... Oh... That's what that's what I would do. I hope that that's like um I think it's hard. I I I guess I don't I don't know how close you are to this friend and like why you blocked them and everything because like if they were a toxic person to be around, I understand that maybe that's not your responsibility and everything. Um if you're concerned about them though, I think that first if you, if you can possibly reach out to people who are in the inner circle, like, the closest people, and if you know they're, like, roommates, parents, whatever, reaching out to them, expressing the weird things that have happened, and then also uh, using that information to, like, contact police if you think there's, like, foul play, I think would be the best way, personally, um, is what I would do. That's tough. Um, watching the news today, the news crews are starting to get around to surveying on the tornado damage to the different communities around here. I know at least 17 different tornadoes. 17 in one day? Is that, that seems like a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm t too tipsy to think. Mood, mood. Strange. Mm. Ah, my, my... Yeah, I'm dropping frames more still. That's so weird. I don't know what's wrong with my internet. No, I canceled it. I closed it. I checked if my um, PlayStation was downloading anything. My phone's not downloading anything. Plus, download usually doesn't cause it. Upload does.
her boyfriend can't get a hold of her either? That's that's pretty scary. I think That's, that's what I would do. I think that they're, that's like the best thing is like not to take it. I think that no matter what is like, even if it's like a false, like they're just being MIA, not on the internet, you know, they don't want to talk to anybody. They're going through some stuff, but at least having a wellness check would probably be the best um, thing is get your information together, call local authorities and ask for a wellness check. I think then you're taking not too too much like but like where you're too concerned and worried but just enough, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think if you're worried, that's what they're there for. And worse comes like there's nothing there's nothing wrong with there being nothing wrong and you just checked cuz you care. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Anyway, um, sending my love and 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 thoughts and everything, and and I I hope that they're just uh, being weird <laughs> and and antisocial and off the internet and uh, and stuff. So, um, but I'm sorry that you're going through that and and sending my love. All right. One more! One more! One more! One more! We can do it, chat, I believe. I hate this hospital. It's gross. It is scary. The poopy version of the hospital is disgusting. I do not like it. Not one bit. Hello? I think I can like there's definitely something in there. Holy Dude Can the audio chill? Oh my god. Oh Oh does she see us? Yeah. <laughs> ah Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Okay. I'm gonna hold off on healing until we're super, super damaged because I think that I, I just would like to use some of our syringes. Because we have quite a few and I have to like be pretty tactful about like intentionally using those. So I feel like if we can, let's see how many heals. Yeah, six and seven. We almost have equal, and the syringes do more. So it'd be better to, like, keep the quick healy ones on hand. Woo! Here we go! Thank you all for hanging out. How is everybody doing? Do you guys got any fun plans coming up for the weekend? What are you guys planning? Tell me the tea. Oh, I missed. I kind of missed. Okay. Well. Oh, shit. Oh, camera angle, please. If we keep dropping frames, I might restart stream. We'll see. Sorry, chat. Let me know. Let me know if it's, if it's okay. If stream is, like, unbearable, let me know. So that I can fix it. Oh, show! I thought I saw something. I'm stupid. Bed is comfy. Get some sleepy steady. No, you're fine. Get some food. You're Gucci. I'm just chilling. Yeah, no worries.
worries. I'm sorry you're going through all that. I hope my response was okay. Maya shift. Hello. 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 Okay. I think we're pretty hurt now. So maybe is the time. Okay. Check our corners. Make sure everything's good. Um... I really haven't been keeping... I'm on the floor, bruh! Bring some water, get some food. Those are important. Okay, we cannot, I'm assuming, go through there. We do not have that key. Okay, this is the director's office on the other side. Got it. All right, time to break into this bitch. I missed. Everything's fine. I'm just a me's you. Everything's fine. I'm just a me's you. Everything's fine. I'm just a little baby me's you. I'm a me's you. In playing a scary. Oh, I didn't know play with your dog. Okay. Yep. Wrong door. Give me that. Wait till I get hit one more time to heal. Where does this go? Um, over there. Wait, let me release this. Where where does it need to go? Fuck where. I don't know where this is supposed to go. Where can we not go? It has to be like over here or? What? The, the noise is like getting out of control. Here, oh, okay. I got my new computer today. Hey, congratulations! Let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. PC hype, PC hype. Boop, 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 boop. Congrats. There are things in here. I hear them. This is great. There's totally more than one. Ooh, three shots took her down. It looks like. I hear something else. Let's loop around, double check. <laughs> There's two in here. I am trying to like dodge, but I'm failing. Okay, here comes the ad break. The ad's about to start. I will pause once it begins. Just a warning. Thank you so much in advance for watching. It helps the channel a bunch. Helps me be a full-time creator. Thank you for watching it. Oh my god. What is this? Okay, I'm like super scared. <laughs> Let's heal once. 
Okay, perfect. We got some more hits in. He's there again, looking, staring. He says he'll drag me there. I don't want to. I won't let him take me. Ew. Cool. Okay. Love that for us. Love that spooky note. Love, love, love this place. It's, you know, real charmer. All the stuff going on here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's get our little biddles on. Let's do it. Uh, notoriously. Well, welcome back and thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Spending time with me while I'm playing the spookies. Appreciate you. Um, thank you everyone for hanging out and all the love and all the sport. Okay, what's this? Oh, director's office. Very nice. Time for us to... The fuck is all that noise? What is the breathing in here? No one knows. To you. Hard pass. I don't know what's going on out here, but a hard pass. Hard pass. No, thank you. Um, director's room. I am playing off memory. <gasps> I remembered right. Let's go. Hello. Okay, it's really gross in here compared to the, the original one, which is just great for us. Okay, the ad is... Oh, I accidentally healed! Oh, with full health! No! All of my saving for nothing. Well, thank you for taking the time to spend with us. Ah, <sighs> man. Nerva, do you think the frame dropping is too much? I mean, like, it, it just comes and goes, so I just, um... Okay, it's just, like, like we've dropped, like, 3% of frames since, like, the beginning of stream. So this is not, like, a ton, but it just randomly happens. It's, like, it, it just kind of, like... I don't know. It's weird. Could just be a bad internet day. I don't know. Or it could be my PC. I'm not sure. Thank y'all for hanging out. Oh, boy. I've been checking out. There's been a bunch of, like, super cute, cozy, um games that have come out on steam and i was i was looking at them guys are they really cute oh they're really cute i was playing um one of them earlier and it was like a little boba shop one i have actually two boba games i just got and they're super adorbs so we'll definitely have to sit down and have a little bit of a cozy game. And then I, I was answering emails before stream today because I had a bunch of emails of people asking me to play, like, if I wanted to demo their games. So I was kind of, like, picking through them and everything. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were telling. How is everybody doing today? Do you guys have fun plans for the weekend? I'm just, uh, I'm just staying chilling, streaming more, <laughs> um, trying to get back into shape before I have to go back to PT because I was a little naughty. Holding a flashlight? Are are the rings you? <laughs> Wait, are the rings you watch? Wait, looks like you're holding a flashlight. Are the rings you watch? Wait. What? <laughs> Do you, do you, I'm not, I'm sorry, Beppo, I'm a boomer, and I'm not understanding, I'm sorry, I'm not getting your joke, do like an Apple Watch, like, times four, oh, <laughs> yeah, my Apple Watch be going, yeah, I'm holding my flashlight, and I'm skilled, I'm skilled, Beppo, thank you guys for watching the ad, um, thank you so much, again, let me know if anything is, lagging too much and i need to uh, we've had weird i've had to restart my stream it's been weird anyway hi 
I've got my flashlight out. Isn't it fun? Um, there'll be no pain anymore. Ew! No pain, 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 no pain. That's gross. I don't like that. Don't like that. Not one bit. That is really creepy. How are you doing, Beppo? Thanks for coming and hanging out. We chilling. Yeah, that recorder doesn't work. Um, it's giving us a little too much loot, it feels like. Mostly doing shop work today. How is that going? How's it going? Tell me the tea. Is there any fun stuff that you got to work on today or anything interesting? Okay. I'm hoping we can get through the last bit here of the hospital. Because uh, it's really gross. I really dislike this. Do I have to hook myself up to an electrocution chair? Because I swear to God, no. It is giving us way too many heals and ammo. I'm not. I found 50 in the ECT room again. The time I checked, he was not appointed for the treatment. He, how is it possible he got there by himself? And how would he know how to turn the thing on? Somebody's going to answer for this. So close, it will happen. It has to. What? Ooh. Yeah. Do I have to shock myself? Oh no. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I was thinking I might set up a camera in the machine uh, and looking at me and the controls. Um, I put my phone inside the machine the other day and it died after like five minutes. Aww. What were you? What were you making? That's cool. Oh, here we're in the padded. We're on floor three with the padded rooms, right? Something just screamed. I don't think she can get me through here, but I can get her. I missed. I don't think she can come through this. Oh, wait. No, she can't. She can't. She can't. I can't. Oh, my gosh. John, I, I was wrong. She 100% can, can come through. Ah, my frames. not be enough to heal us all the way it's not it's fine okay i thought i was gonna be i was being a sneaky bitch and and i could like cheat my way through stuff i was wrong i did not okay i'm not using more than four shots on you sorry That's why it gave us so much stuff. Guess it's a monster party. We did the mash. We did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Is the monster mash copyrighted, do you think? No, 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 no. Hello, Nurse Pew. So I'm kind of like. Doing, like checking my bases, you know, or, like understanding like what doors are or I can go in and out. Though today I haven't been using my map very much. Kind of kind of went around. It might have missed some stuff. I feel a lot better today. I was feeling really not good the last few days we played this game. I still have a migraine, but my heart isn't doing too bad i've been i've been doing like hardcore in my pt again like really getting back into it um and i i want that might have flared it up i'm not sure it won't rest until they are solved i, I won't rest 
I can't rest. I don't know how anymore. Nice. Uh, making inserts. Okay, I put my making inserts for a mold. It's gonna be a pin that sticks into the pillows and holds them in the spas. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm not sure who owns the rights to it, but there's money to be had by striking videos on YouTube. Someone's gonna buy them. Yeah. That is unfortunate. I bet, I bet that the people bought, do that, like, buy rights to, like, songs that are, like, semi-popular, but, like, they can get, like, a decent deal on them just for that reason. Do you know what I mean? I bet. I, like you said, I bet that that's a thing. Well, Nerva and I were reading about, like, that people just hire, like, um... Like, a money scheme is, like, you just hire a bunch of people to, like, make music, and then, like, you own the rights. You, like, pay them once. And then you make a playlist and stuff on, on Spotify, and then can monetize that, too. Fun fact! We have a Spotify playlist. It's not very big, um, but all of our music is free to use. We don't copyright our stuff. Feel free to use it. Thank you. <laughs> That is so fucking horrifying. Oh, 9659? Yingy. 100% <laughs> the only reason you sell your music to a label? Mmm. Kind of only way to make money for music. I mean, Spotify plays, we make money, passive money off of it, but it, we just don't copyright it. So you guys can use it on all your stuff, but by listening to it, we get like passive income. We should do more, because it, it would be quite lucrative if we had more. It doesn't take much. You made the music yourself? Yeah. I have one song on there. Nerva used to be a famous, uh, uh, a famous, uh, like, uh, musician. Artist, EDM artist. Producer. Whatever you want to call him. Wait, what was the code? I know he wrote it down somewhere. Didn't he? Chat, what was it? I don't want to walk back up there. Nine something. I, I'm going to be honest. I saw him write it down and I just like disassociated and didn't think about it. Farts. Can, does someone remember what it is? So I don't have to go back up there. May I ask why you're bald? Is is it a chemo thing? I'm not. I don't... Uh, it's not a chemo thing. I have alopecia areata. And um, a bunch of chronic illnesses. And um, every time my health flares up, it falls out again. And I have a strange mutation that makes it really painful. Um, and the problem is, is uh, it was dormant for a while and we couldn't get it back and then we finally got it to grow back after treatment but the problem is it's not getting it to grow back it's getting it to not fall out again and it just falls out again and so unfortunately um i can't grow a full head of hair and so i used to have really long hair down to my ass and then i was always like hiding my bald spots and it got so small amounts that i finally got to the point where I said, you know what, fuck it! And I shaved it, and, uh, yeah. Oh, 9659. I knew I wrote it down. I was like, uh, so I didn't have to remember. 9659. I'm not running around to that. And I had one NC NECS release, and that's all. Nah, it has over a million wa like views. It, it, you're famous. There's nothing in here. What did he think would be in there? Oh. He thought maybe a... a letter? <laughs> She's something in her mouth. 
game is so weird. Oh, look at the, there's like a, behind my head, you guys can't really see it. There's like a painting. Ew, what is that? This place is so gross. Oh, it's the button to the basement. No! <laughs> I don't want to go to the basement. Don't make me do it. No. She has a ring. That ring doesn't look like it was originally there. It looks like somebody like zip tied a little thing on her. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's like an angel. This looks important. This mural. She is an angel no one knows only. I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along with uh, along her bridge and thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sin, she devours them. And sin and sin are like she saves me. She is an angel. T. Yeah, so um, I guess I can you know, show you guys. I, I just don't care. I think that it's, like, healthy to, like, talk about it and stuff. So, um, you guys can see. If I can come into play. See? So, you can see, like, I can grow hair. But it just falls out in, like, all of these patches. And, um, so every time it starts to come back, it just is, like, these, like, cow spot patches that just, um... And that's why I became a VTuber, because I was going bald. And then after I became a VTuber, I shaved it off. Oh, you thought it was uh, the little wafers you eat at, at like church and stuff? <laughs> Isn't gonna be any music in not too long of a time? Gonna be any need for me? That is weird. That is weird to think of. I think there will always be people doing stuff though. I was watching a bald streamer today. She's kind of famous. Honestly, that's sick though. Like, there's actually a lot of uh, girls who are who are famous for like. Uh, there's like a well. If you have, um, I feel like maybe I shouldn't say this because I feel like a lot of people with alopecia would disagree. I'll I'll just tell you how I feel. Sometimes I wish that my alopecia was like permanent hair loss. This is a terrible wish. Um. Because then I wouldn't get my hopes up that it would grow back all the time and it wouldn't be painful all the time. It's really frustrating to start to get it back only to lose it again. So there's there's different kinds of um there's different kinds of like uh alopecia. So there's like alopecia areata, which is like your typical alopecia. Unfortunately it's like uh, also like used as a diagnosis for any kind of hair loss so it's kind of odd you could be like stress related people who had covid lost their hair um obviously cancer makes it fall out etc right uh, i just have the autoimmune disease uh what it happens is your body decided one day that y it thinks your hair follicle is is a foreign body and needs to kill like a virus so it just attacks it I have Versalis, meaning it's all over my body. I get it, my armpits, my eyelashes, my eyebrows, my legs. Um, it It's everywhere. I don't have very much body hair anymore. So like my legs, I don't shave them very often because um, the other side effect of alopecia is, uh, which is something that really is kind of a pain about it, is your hair becomes like slowly, even if you don't have um, the scarring kind, um, it be and it grows back, It uh, you can have... Uh, kind of these weird anomalies so you can have loss of pigment meaning you can have like so I don't have gray hair so they're like um see-through they're very fine not like kinky and coarse like gray hair is it's like very fine and almost like clear translucent and it's like pigment less like it there's none and so or like not very much so um sometimes I get those little fine baby hairs 
Um, so the, and uh, where I've had a ton of alopecia, they show up more. I get them in my eyelashes and eyebrows, mostly in my eyebrows. I get infected eyelashes all the time and everything. Um, and that's really annoying. So then I have to pull my eyelashes out if they're infected or to make it stop. It's quite painful. Um, my doctors um, think I have like a mutation that causes it to be similar, like having all these infections and stuff. It's like dermatitis, but not. It's not technically dermatitis. It's, uh, it's alopecia and it's non-scarring. Um, I've had biopsies and stuff, but, um, uh, so for, so a normal, imagine a normal hair shaft. Let's call it like, imagine it's like one is a normal hair shaft. Just like the link like we're we'll set a numerical for it is one. If you, uh, theoretically someone who has alopecia and has had it for a long time, you can get to a tenth of a hair follicle, right? So like you like move a decimal point, then that's how small your hair can become because of the repeated alopecia. People who have scarring alopecia because of the damage to the hair follicle and, um, and everything where it comes out, it becomes a hundredth, so like zero one, right? And because of this, the damage to the hair follicle and the hair becoming so fine it is unable to to actually like grow anymore and so like that's the difference so like normal alopecia you already have like the shrinking of the of the 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 hair follicle and it becomes a lot finer and then um which is probably why i get so many in infected hair as well and then um scarring alopecia after the alopecia has attacked the area so many times your body creates like scar tissue and like damages the hair follicle and to the point where you can't grow hair anymore so like some people have permanent hair loss because of that uh, mine is still non-scarring um maybe in the future some spots will become benign and like damaged to the point um but i did have like a dead area for that was about the size of a softball and it was when i was still face cam streaming for about a year and then i did all these injections i did oral steroids it didn't help and uh, it really hurt my body. I'm not very candidate for steroids. And then um, I did red light therapy and I was able to uh, regenerate the hair and it came back. I, it usually takes like six months to a year to see hair growth. I got it back within a couple weeks, a month of, of regular red light therapy. But the problem is, is like uh, red light therapy does increase my hair generation, but it does not decrease the amount of that it falls out so it just makes the cycle of like and how painful it is even faster because i get like all these like infections and like everything all over my head it's it sucks um i've had a lot of different people look at it um but everybody is kind of like if you there's no even if we decide to call it something different it, the, we're gonna we're gonna consider it the treatments are the same so if you don't react to the treatments you just sol if that makes sense at least as of right now there's there's new technology coming out with like antibodies and and different things um but because of my other health conditions i'm not really a candidate for them as of right now but yeah Uh, moms loves riding horses. There will always be people who love making and listening to music. By all means, you can. Can you get your scalp lasered? Technically, if I wanted to, I could. If I wanted to permanently get rid of it, um, I I would like to get a scalp tattoo. Uh, the right kind of midsection of my scalp tends to be where hair falls out the most often. It's the same spot. I mean, it, it falls out everywhere. But that spot gets hit the most, and I think it would be cool to have a, a beautiful tattoo. So if someday I do ever grow my hair out, and then it falls out again, um, when it falls out, there's something pretty underneath. I think that that could be nice. Um, but yeah. Um, can we put LEDs in the base of it? You'll have RGB. That would be fun. I wonder what, like, alb if albino people could do something fun with their hair and stuff like that. But yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat, <gasps> where you answer our questions correctly and win a prize beyond your wildest dreams. Or you fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. Oh, dear God. Oh, uh, what? Why are we playing somebody's creepy thing? Oh, my gosh. Also, Milkers, that's so scary. 
some people lost their hair and they ended up being poisoned by that's so fucking scary that's such a scary thing i i've heard of stuff like that you know what's really interesting is as a lot of hospitals don't there's like a few common poisons that they test for but like unless you they have a reason to test for certain like poisons they don't so i can only imagine how many poisonings happen and like it just doesn't ever get caught they just like think it's like natural deaths or different things <laughs> no, nothing tribal. <laughs> I think it would be pretty to have, like, uh, something really pretty. But I don't know. It's scary because you're worried Nerva might poison you? No, I'm not worried. I mean, I still have hair loss even when I feed myself. It's not really. <laughs> but, no, it's, it's very scary. I listen to a lot of true crime, and, and there's a lot of cases of people getting away with, like, multiple murders and it's because they they poison and because of it just how it is and the tragic and they have no reason to suspect like they just don't test and there's only so many places at least in the u.s that even can test for like weird poisons and stuff so like it's it's quite scary to think of because like if you think you're sick and you go and you have no reason to be tested for poisoning you're not you're like oh you have all of these things oh yeah I saw it on friends' files. I mean, like, there's like a like a like a one recently. Uh, it's been become more popular, but like one that's hard to t like rice in, or or different things like that. And, and of course, like a lot of these poisons are controlled substances and everything. But like, for instance, there was a lady who was poisoning people, her whole entire family with uh, uh, what's it called, window washer fluid or whatever, like the ice or something. It's got to be that something like that and uh the original makeup of of that kind of stuff it's sweet it's naturally sweet and it's incredibly poisonous and so uh back in like the early 2000s there was a whole entire ploy for like why a lot of like animal um activists and stuff to to get the companies who made this like washer fluid or whatever it is de-icer i forget what it's called um one of those things for a car. They 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 had this whole entire thing where they they finally got a bill passed that made it so that like the companies that make it have to put a bitter agent in it because animals would ingest it and die if like it was left out or spilt or whatever. And um there was a woman who was putting it in her family's Coca-Cola and she killed one or two of her children and her husband and one of them kept getting sick and she was like oh you're a baby get over it, whatever and then i think she lived so maybe only two died but both of the other ones like what she killed her disabled child she killed her husband she killed like a like like and she tried to kill her other kid and she had two other kids or something and her one daughter like helped her with it and stuff because they're best buds you know and she went out of her way to get the stuff that didn't have the bittering agent in it so because it was discontinued and she would order it from like out of the country and she would just like put it in their coca-cola bottles and and give it to them and be like here's your coca-cola oh you're feeling unwell take a coca-cola and it took till the two deaths were were even though they had like blood around their mouth they were considered uh natural causes they didn't even think about it they just woof whatever because there was no reason to look into it more so there was no uh like s significant autopsy done just brief and so they they put it under the rug and then the third one the ho the girl got sick like three times ends up in the hospital she insists that they double check finally um during the police interrogation and like talking the woman just kept talking about the antifreeze like over and over and over again and being fucking weird and so out of the blue they decide to test for it and somehow with all of the organ failure and all the shit going on in the poisoning she lived she lived she should not have lit like somehow against all the miracles and her mom poisoning her it, extensively she lived but it turns out her disabled son and her husband so the dad and the brother were poisoned as well and she was just going one by one like mm, i don't like you today i guess i'll poison you with antifreeze um but like be, poison is not actually tested for that much and most hospitals and different things don't actually have um the tools to test for like uncommon poisons and everything so they have to send out to like us like there's like three or three five whatever i'm just pulling this out of my ass you can fact like 
don't fact check me. I'm just saying, like, there's not that many facilities in areas that process, like, significant um, poisons and stuff. So, yeah. It's very interesting, though. Some cases happen where the environment caused poisoning because, like, sometimes it's raw meat, sometimes it's shit from animals, sometimes it's exhaust from industries. I hear that only happened in America. What, the poisoning or, like, the stuff, like, the weird things? Um, that's why people should be alcohol <laughs> drink a bottle of vodka and no other <laughs> poison your liver. Um, oh, everything. Well, I, I, I listen to a lot of true crime and stuff and I hear a lot of the poisoning cases outside of the U S but there are ones in the U S like the one I just told you, but like most of the ones I've heard of that are obscure ones, they happen all over, but most places like your average hospital is not equipped with poison test kits and stuff. Um, it's everywhere. I listen to, um, I, a lot of, um, uh, what's her name? Oh my God. Ron Mango. And she does a ton of stuff from all over the world and like a lot of Asian culture just because she's the, from there and, you know, or, and, and everything. And, uh, there's all sorts of ones. And it, a lot of them come down to like having to beg the hospital to be like, can you test these poisons? And they're like, there's no reason to, even though they have all the symptoms of that, how would they possibly have gotten that poison? Like, you know, stuff like that. So it's just, uh, I can only imagine how many go under the rug for like uncommon poison. I mean, even mushrooms. Um, there's a case of a woman who fed her a whole entire group of people poison mushrooms. She cooked it up for dinner, you know? I mean... Weird shit. I don't know. I like true crime a little bit too much. Coolio, how are you doing? Also, apologies if we're we're getting when weird frame drops. Lucky contestant, James Sunderland. James, are you ready to play trick or treat? No. Excellent. Here's your first question. Who is talking In the to early us? 1800s, a terrible disease spread across Silent Hill, resulting in the death of many of its inhabitants. Their bodies thrown into the lake to sleep forever in their watery grave. How many souls were lost during the plague? One, forty-two, two, sixty-seven, three, eighty-five. Know the answer? Well, you better hold on to it. You never know when it might come in handy. Fuck! Wait, wait, wait are we supposed to know this? It's 67, right? I will say though, someday maybe I'll deep dive into it if I have the money to because this would this is something that I can't do like with like medical. I would have to like fund it myself. Um someday I would actually like to deep dive more into my DNA test because fun fact I had a very 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 extensive DNA test done it's like more than 300 pages double back sided long um yeah I have a giant thick ass binder full of it and um over 50 percent of the DNA tested is is heavily mutated suggesting high amounts of um heavy metals introduced to my body at some time and and not caught it's it's gone now but oh merchandise the voice sounded like peter colin i'm so bad about like knowing actor names and stuff but dude i'm sc i'm scared okay uh can we look at it now on to the second question no stop okay wait can we do is there is there a way that we could know this from exploring He's telling us that we're gonna need to know this later. Uh, so how many people from the? Oh, from Oxford. Oh, yo, it kind of does, right? Um, I'm gonna write this down in the chat. Okay, wait. So like, how many died to plague? Right? I think it said like 45 something else in 67. I really feel like it was 67. I don't know. Does anyone remember? Is there a way, like, for us to know? It would have definitely been from, like, outside, though. I don't think it would be a piece of paper we picked up, though. I think it would have been a plaque we read or something. 
I don't know, 67 really just rings a bell for me. That's my guess, but I don't know. The one thing that had happened to myself, uh, I used to drink myself to sleep, you know, it, yourself to take heavy, take the heavy duty antibiotics for a long time or a month or two. My girlfriend did a lot. And where, where when you poop, it's just a tiny bit of liquid, then maybe a spoonful. Sorry if that's too, wait, <laughs> dude, are you saying that you were like drinking and you never ate? Is that what you, also, I'm really proud of you. I just want you to know, I, I know I don't know your whole story, Beppo, but the little pieces you, you choose to share with us, I, I really appreciate you. And I think that you're a very strong person. I'm really proud of you and your journey that you've been on and the kind of person that you are and how ambitious and, and smart you are. And I'm, I'm proud of you for, for getting through it all. And, and, um, I believe you're sober now too, as well. And congratulations on that. Cause it's, it's not easy. So, um, and merchandise, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the poop squad. Uh, you know, this reminds me of the Stephen skit where they were talking about my son is meant to become a doctor and his son says it's to help people and the dad laughs it's still because of the doc <laughs> takes people's money brah mood okay okay i have to listen to this part okay chat we've been rambling and th the first hour out to two hours of the stream is always a chaotic mess and we're kind of dropping frames a little bit today so feel free to refresh every once in a while if you feel that the stream gets behind okay Follow Sanders Street heading east and further on to the outskirts of town. One and only one road will take you towards the lumber yard and the cemetery. One, one will take you to the the the. What the, is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Munson Street. Three, Wiltsy Road. Did you get that? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um Cemetery and the lumber yard. Sure as hell hope so. And for a third and final question. Stop! There's too many questions! Cemetery and the lumber yard? I'm so anxious. I'm so anxious. Sem let me read this. Cemetery and Lumber yard. What road? Okay. The Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped in the pieces with an axe. Torn flesh, smashed bones, splattered blood. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. One of the victims was a local boy named Billy Loke. But what was the name of the other victim? Billy's sister. One, Miriam. Two, Heather. Three, Julia. I think it was Miriam, well, but I don't know. The last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? If so, fantastic. Time will soon come to collect your Do I need to like remember like one, two, three? If you're wrong, well, looks like that's all the time we have for today, folks. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Oh my See god! Somewhere, sometime, in sickness or in health. Bye bye. Does anyone know the answers to all those and get back? See, because oh my, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, uh, like, how many died to the plague, and it's, like, one, two, or three. I don't remember, like, it's Cemetery and Lumberyard, one, two, or three, and then Billy's sister, one, two, or three. Like, uh, I'm, uh, that was way too fast. Unless you wrote that shit down, and I can, like, contemplate it, that was too fast. Oh, my God. Uh, no bacteria could live in me, and the poop is 90 percent oh you digest most of all the food so there's barely anything left if you take antibiotics the whole point of them is to so you only write back and it did stop drinking it wasn't really an... uh i just drank i see i see sorry i'm not trying to call you anything <laughs> wasn't like a fight like people who are addicted ah i see right i never took medication myself dude antibiotics will fuck you up karate can confirm this like she's been really bad battling really bad like bacteria or not bacteria the stomach tummy problems and stuff ever since then and everything like yeah um 
in my youth, I took a lot of antibiotics because of uh, I was sick all the time, and I was always like, bleh. I see you have a new outfit. Is it Gucci or Prada? It's technically not a new outfit because it's just me holding a flashlight. <laughs> but thank you. It's... It's Nirvana. <laughs> you get it? I just came up with something fancy to call Nerva... Nerva fit, but... Yeah. Nerva say that again. Nerva say that again! <laughs> Stop! Okay. What the hell was that? And my super watches. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I can tell you that I, I, dude, I disassociated through half of that, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. To the basement! Yay! Dude, Nerva joining in on the dad jokes. Love it. Dude, it's freaking dark down here. Okay, basement. Do I remember the layout of this place? No. There's one to our right, too. I can hear it. I was hoping I'd knock her over. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? You see that flawless? That flawless? That flawlessness? Yes! Okay. Dooby 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 looting the shit. Dooby dooby doo. Ah! Oh. Come here, you stupid leg beast. Yeah! 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 Is this still alive? Or there's just another one. Probably. I lucked out that it only came after us. Dude, all this shit making sound is so distracting because there's like crackling of stuff and... There's 100% something in here. Oh, it's a bug. <gasps> nice. The crackling of stuff and like this, the air vent, the, the, the air venting and all that. It's like so distracting. All the sounds from like 360. It's so hard for me to like sit and like be certain of like what kind of sound I'm hearing, you know? Whoo! <sighs> Whoop, there it is. Um, chat. You're gonna have to tell me. I I've not explored enough. I'm realizing, and uh, I'm very upset because now that means that I don't know the answers to these weird questions. Is that thing gonna burn me? I don't know. Okay, um, dude. See, when uh uh, one could say he is uh, very nervous. <laughs> Bad right, Theos. Oh my gosh, you showed hips. Your skirt is it pulled a, a Shakira on that Twitch is scary. Be careful. <laughs> oh no, dude. It's uh, you would you would hope it would be fine, and you would hope. Face cam is working spot, dude. The face cam is working spot on today. <laughs> really hope nothing happens to you. Like I know you guys make sure you're breaking, you're not breaking Theos, but it's been weird lately. Honestly, it is what it is. I guess then we get a vacation. You know, I've already, like, my Twitch, like, notifications and, like, all the things that, like, uh, like, the, the, have been destroyed after I was featured on the front page for five months. So it's, like, me and the algorithm are already fucked anyway. I mean, you can have an alt account, but it's illegal. If they find out that you're streaming on another account while you're banned, then you're like... You're perma-banned. Because you didn't understand the point. You know what I mean? I 
I feel like it's one of those things we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, thank you. Mac and cheese! Ah! Oh. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, technically, if you make another account and you were banned, like perma banned, you make another account, they will they will take that account too. If they find out. Get blacklisted. Get in trouble. Gotta wear a disguise like a mustache. <laughs> no, I'm really grateful for Twitch and like the the opportunity they've given me and like they it's really like the platform has, has changed my life. Like genuinely. I'm I'm so grateful because I would just be sitting like a bump on a log if i if i didn't and i don't uh, you guys are the reason that i continue to push forward and try to to get healthier and stuff and it, it's because of you because i i want to be a better creator for for all of you and stuff and i i definitely have like the, i really i want to be um optimistic that they mean well and that t like twitter makes everything out of context and i don't know the full context and sometimes oopsies hat and i just you know i feel like i need to because if I, I i've been seeing all the stuff on twitter of like people getting banned for stupid ass reasons and it, it does it scares me this is my job this is my career it's my main source of income um but I feel like it's one of those things that we'll just need to cross that bridge and deal with it if it ever happens to us. It's not the end of the world. It's not like... Uh, so, you know, we'll just have to deal with it when it happens. And, you know, and I think that contextually, maybe the fear mongering that comes from a lot of stuff, there's like context missing, maybe. I don't know. I try to hope that. I might be wrong. But I, 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 that's what I tell myself so that I don't worry about it. Because if I worried about something that hasn't happened yet, I will go insane. And I, I am a doomsday like person. I literally get so much anxiety and I worry about everything. I have terrible PMA a lot of times. And that's why, why I have it fucking tattooed all over me. Okay. <laughs> so, um,. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just have to choose to be patient, wait it out, try my best to see what, ha you know, and cross that bridge when we get there. I will say, uh, something does need to be changed about it. There's obviously issues coming and happening and whatever, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. That's kind of how I feel. No, music here, they weren't, it went that way. <laughs> but you're absolutely not allowed to uh, evade bans in any way. They're very specific. Yeah, that's very specific. I mean, Twitter is now the community notes, but yeah, Twitter became very much like ban on 4chan. The amount of people that think they're so smart and they say, you'll get ba them banned and like, I don't care. I'll just use another. Uh, that's stupid. And also saying that, like, you're stupid. <laughs> James. <gasps> Mary. Where have you been, oh. you crazy lady? Maria, I thought. Oh. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What? What do you mean, anyway? What? I was almost killed back there. What? I have never been so scared in my whole life. Why is she screaming at us? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. What's wrong with her? You didn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... You're the one who just wandered me. off by yourself. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. What is this gaslighting? I... <laughs> so what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. That's so mean of her. What? You can't judge people how they're grieving we for their, like... Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? Is um, she our daughter? That's what it feels like. I'd never met her before. 
She kind of looks like y'all. Sorry for her. She's all alone and I don't know for some reason. Someone like gets a spray me bottle. I mean, her. he thinks he. I'll explain after the cutscene. So, so he. Okay, here's the here's the story for those of you guys who don't oh, know. I'm again, haven't like played the first game. Okay, Doom Slayer. Hello, hello. Okay, so um um so pretty much we got a note from our dead wife she's been dead for allegedly three years saying yo it's me i'm alive meet me at our place and he doesn't they had their place is just silent hill it's just the town so he shows up here to this scary place again and obviously he might be missing some memories it's kind of odd and then this woman looks exactly like our dead wife so he's like coming here understanding she's dead but also it's kind of weird he got the letter so he's he's looking around you know but then but then she's like like her dead wife but not like her dead wife i guess but then she's like so flirtatious with him it drives me nuts and then they're like she's kind of normal Emotional exactly damage. then she's kind of normal and you're like okay this is like nice they have a nice little relationship going on she's just used to like being flirt but like then she like touches him and is like jealous and like all these things and i'm like dude if i lost my significant other i i would just like never ever again like i would i would never remarry i would never i'm just the kind of person who i would never move on that would just be like that's my person that's just kind of how i feel and like it's only been three years if you're like love of your life died goose and and you have like trauma been sent here because you found a letter that she might not be dead and she's like what would you do if you find him and she and he's like i would say i loved her i would say i loved her and she's like and he's like, what? And she's like, oh, that's disappointing. I mean, it's been three years. And I'm like, what? Can you imagine that your wife, like, is, you thought is dead for three years. You find out she's alive. You're supposed to just be like, ew, but it's been three years. Like, what? What? Like, I, she just, like, gives me whiplash. I, she's such a fucking gaslighter. Ugh. I, I hate women like that. Ugh. Uh, people like that. It's just like, ugh. Oh, lucky her. Yeah, something like that. And it just makes me like, oh, oh, I start to like her and then I want to vomit all over her. She's such a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really weird, Beppo. I under I see the I see the arguments. I don't want to like continue to dwell on it, but I see the arguments of people being like, well, they're in the correct category. Like VTubers are just in every category. And I'm just like. VTubers are not real people. Like, like the VTuber model is not a, a real person, one. Number two, the category of which you speak of is disgusting, and I don't even know why that's allowed on this platform. It's too much, and it's gross. <laughs> and, and three, plenty of that stuff. I mean, I'm not saying VTubers aren't people. I'm saying their model is not a human person. So I don't even understand why they're like harsher on the model itself than a real person's body. Like they're more of a prude to a fake model than a real person. That's my that's my point. I'm not talking about the person or the people. I'm a real person. My model is a model. You you know what I mean? It's not my body. It's my VTuber's body is different it's not it's not so like them being so prudish on a fake model versus real models and allowing bat like opposite feelings is odd and it's also not highly enforced in uh, for face cam streamers there's plenty of sus stuff in other channels too and also i just think that you're like well you can wear whatever you want but you have to be in the hot tub channel i think that's gross I think that's gross. I I don't understand that. I think it's gross. Hey, baby. Anyway, sorry. We'll move on. It's weird. It's weird. So, yeah. I'm not saying VTubers aren't real people. They are. <laughs> I think that, like, like I've heard a lot of people say that about Iron Mouse beating Kai Sinat's record. And they're like, ew, who is this? Like, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying why there's, like, borderline soft p word on the the website i think we have more issues 
than hips and under boob on, on VTubers. I understand that that has always been the TOS, but it's hard to tell what the TOS is when things have been allowed in all sorts of ways, in large and small creators, and then they just decide to be like, whoop-bam, whoop-bam, whoop-bam. Oh, you mean a joke that's a little sus and we took it the wrong way? Banned. Like, it's just weird. Kick doesn't think P VTubers are people. Lisa Eddie doesn't. He talks about them like that, like he's a white person and they're black people and in the 19th century. That's gross. Yeah. Ooh. Do you, uh, so again, I'm not saying that I don't think VTubers are people. I, I just, I, that's not, I just mean the model uh. is being judged harsher than real life people's physical bodies. They are not the same. They should not be judged. If either judge them the same, but there's no reason to judge VTubers harsher. That's what I'm saying. Than people's real flesh bodies that like, it's just really catch-22, right? It's hypocritical. Yeah, I don't really understand the whole, like, hate of VTubers either. Like, it's popular. It's been popular for a while. Like, I remember, like, people being like, I don't even know who Iron Mouse is. And I'm just like, well, that's your own fault. Like, I know who I don't watch plenty of the the face cam dude streamers on the platform who are the top creators on the whole entire platform but i know who they are she's been like on the streamer awards tons of times it's like they're just making up that they don't like even like you're just jealous what's sad is i think as creators we all struggle with the same thing <laughs> oh my god hi pixie think of the rain we'll change subjects now we'll change subjects we're just bitching now hi killy hello hi my hello, hello quest, hello, Toxie, hello, 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 thank you for the follow, welcome to the Poopa Squad Whiskey, hello, yo, I don't deserve you, Pixie, how was your stream, are you streaming, tell me all the tea, how are you, gobbly, gobbly, gobbly lady, hello, 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 uh, happy spooky season, how are you doing, welcome, 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 we're going through the depths of the poop covered hospital in Silent Hill too, how are you doing, also my, my huskies are, are being crazy, and we were just talking tea. Okay, to finish my statement of what I was saying before you came in, because we were talking about just stuff. I would like to live in a world with content creators who want to lift each other up, no matter how big or small you are. It is so weird that living in a society of people who is obsessed with money and, and fame and attention that we have to go out of our way to hurt or put belittle people's achievements. The world would be a better place in every aspect, creators, like people, like no matter what job you have, what facet of life you are, if we all just come together and try to lift each other up instead of tear each other down, having a glass that is half full instead of half empty all the time, having that mindset, is only toxic to yourself and everybody around you. And if you surround yourself with people like that, if you surround yourself with people like that, then you will just, it, it, it's like a freaking poison. It's, it's, it's a plague in your life. You become more negative. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, support your achievements, and, and, and actually are, are ambiguous or ambitious, ambitious people who want to do stuff with their life. Because then every, it, it just energizes you. It makes you feel lifted up. It makes you excited to create. But if you're surrounded by people who only tear you down and that's your mentality all the time like that is not something healthy and you will be a miserable person and i just wish that in content creation people were excited for everybody's like achievements and and working towards their goals instead of just judging everyone and belittling their achievement like and making it lesser because you're jealous or it didn't happen to you that's so shitty those are not people to be surrounded by and those if you see creators who treat each other like that don't look up to people like that that is bad there are deep down jealous and icky people. I don't think that that is good behavior at all. If you can't be humble and have humility and be respectful to the people around you, it, you know, life isn't fair and we all are just working and on our own trip and journey. And yeah, anyway, hi, Queenie Beanie, that's my tag. We we're talking about toxic, weird stuff. And I just said, I want to be optimistic and, and positive and hope that, 
Twitch goes in the right direction. We're all going in the right direction. We're all finding success, and we're all just finding our way and and happier. And I would like to see that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> darkness too. How was it? Did you have fun? Um and everything. Um and uh, hi, banger mo. Thank you. It's literally just my model, but then I trigger my flashlight. <laughs> we change it up we change it up thank you um when i hear i never heard of her or him they must not be good i think they have a huge importance complex yeah it's, it's just weird i love this thank you sorry that you came in while i'm ranting anyway hi everybody if you guys are new here i'm Izuki, the 3d vtuber in a unity game and we have an interactive vtuber and we're playing through silent hill 2 and we were you know, gabbing because that's what we do because i'm scared and i'm finding ways to stall playing this game anyway i hope you guys are having a lovely day if you got to go d stream get your snacks get your poopies out i totally understand um and yeah i got hot dogs and mac and cheese and i i'm vibing we're vibing here and we're judging this lady who looks like our wife for judging us for for still loving our wife that's been dead for three years how dare she <laughs> thank you why you're so sweet i view the glass as a different light if it was poured then it's half full if it was drank then it's half that mm, that's okay that's fair that's fair the way you said it but I, you know what i mean in general <laughs> i just happy i have a glass mood to be honest i have a, a bad picture about my streamers that's fair i think okay here's the thing um how there's a not very many people can be successful content creators let alone want to be like it takes a certain personality to stick with it and unfortunately it is a very very concentrated group of people who really thrive off of like attention and money and greed right and because of that a lot of those people are so competitive that they will they will they will like tear down their sibling or their mother or their best friend if and step on them if that means that they become more successful right so th that that is just something and obviously you should just watch people you like and whatever but like also support people that you think like you know are are, are genuinely good people if you're gonna like it, it, take advice I, I don't know don't take advice from me i'm not no but, but i i think that you know it's important to just seek out people if you are going to be uh like inspired by other people just you know be inspired by people who actually have good morals i don't know you don't know the content creators it, you know i could be a, a a weirdo behind the screen you know but yeah anyway i love you you're so sweet you're so nice and one of the best ah, i don't deserve you no 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 i'm only bright right now because i have a flashlight in my face anyway <laughs> i hope you had a wonderful time um if you got to go deep poop yourself after the spoopies i totally understand uh, and no, 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 no. Oh, plenty of small content. Great milker. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell one thing. I have been through many journeys on my streaming career, and I've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows. And um, when I, I was tiny and I was around other tiny content creators, it was great. And then when I got bigger than them, they were assholes. And they totally were mad at me that I was bigger than them. And that was uncomfortable. And then I've had times where um, I was having uh, like hundreds of views because I was a featured creator for a few months. And um, you wouldn't believe how many people are up in my DMs. And then I'm like socially awkward and I have a lot of health issues. And so I don't really feel comfortable with like setting up a uh, collabs with people I don't know. And so I'm like, can we just hang out? And they're like, no, I only want to stream with you. And I'm like, well, I would be more comfortable if we would like hang out first, you know, because I don't usually do collab streams. And then they're like, you're a two-faced bitch. Fuck you. And, and, and then or they just like are up my butt. And then now that I have 30 views, they're like, I don't know who you are. It's not like we DM'd like six months ago and we're friends. I, I, I don't know who you are. We've never met. You're out of my mind. Like, like all of those things. I had a streamer who I like dropped everything for, manipulate me. And then I we were done being friends. And then she got my community to like buy me a life-size like plushie of my dog that passed away and pretend that it was like a gift from her. And my community was like, oh my God, that's so nice. Because I didn't feel like telling the community that she was mean. I, I just held on to that inside, even though we weren't friends and we hadn't talked in six months. And then randomly she's like, surprise, here's a plushie of your dog that died. Even though I said a really lot of nasty things to you and ended our friendship, 
your community thinks we're besties and 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 wants to <laughs> so not that everyone's bad there's tons of great people out there but you really that that that's unfortunately people really will love you when you're in a place that makes them feel powerful or important or whatever and so it's really important that you realize that you're a great person you love yourself you can be okay with your own company and you can be okay with being alone if that means because I have been in so many times in my life where I felt like if I get rid of this person I'll be so alone and then I finally do and I'm alone and I'm like damn it's so much nicer being alone than the torment and and hurt I felt being with that person and so value yourself and know what your what boundaries are and and don't let people push them and 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 make you something that you're not and and don't let yourself be treated like that and expect better out of people because if everybody is like being better and lifting each other up like those people will just be to the wind to the wind they they won't be around also there's an ad about to play um I didn't snooze it in time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We won't start the game until that happens. But anyway, sorry that you're coming in. We're at talking tea. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. I hope you guys are having all the good snackies. And you're winding up to the fun weekends and everything. But yeah. Um, yeah, also new people here. Mizu is creating a 3D VTuber army Warhammer 40k stuff. <laughs> Yes, we are creating a 3D army and we shall take over the 2D VTubers. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, what the fuck? Yeah, that's my point. I say the whole, I still don't talk to them or watch them. Healthy bad. <laughs> I was like, I remembered that. And after I found out what happened, I'm not around. Yo, you're a real one, Coolio. <laughs> you're a real one. I'm never the type of person who's like, I'm not friends with this person. So that means everyone has to not be. I, I, I don't, I don't believe in like that. But I also think like, you know, it's okay for us to have different friends, you know? I came here expecting Mizu screams, and instead I got life advice. Hey, you know, um, this is, here's deep down. This is deep down. TMI for all the people who have turbo or are subbed. I am only 26 years old. And for the past 10 years, I've been chronically ill to the point it's been debilitating in my life. And I've been actively seeking out, like, fixing of it. So I was sick even before. Um, in my youth, I was sick as well. I grew up being really bullied, having a very small existence and in, in experiences in life. And my world was incredibly small. And as I got older and I got sicker, I, I realized how important, and it's something I work on every day. This is not something that's like an epiphany and I fixed it. Um, I realized how important energy is. To the point that sometimes I'm too exhausted to because of thinking too much about something. And you realize, like, how the sicker I got, the less energy I got. And how precious time really is. And how precious your energy really is. And you realize how when you don't have your health anymore, you have such a small amount and when that energy is being exhausted by negative people who only take from you, it's you realize like life is too short for that. Life is too short for that. It's just not worth it. It's it, it is so short and fleeting. And the sicker that I've gotten, the more I realize this. You know, I don't know. Um, what my life will be in 10 years. I don't know how long I will live. I don't have like a life shortening illnesses, but I do have incredibly life debilitating things. But just like anybody else, you could get, you know, hit by a bus. Like um, it's important to focus on what what is actually meaningful to you and what lifts you up and, and, and brings you even just a little bit of joy. And not to waste your precious, 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 precious time and energy on things that only only take from you. And that and that can include being angry. Angry. So many people are angry all the time. Like I was talking to you guys about um the Twitter stuff, you know? And I, I'm not gonna lie. It's really upsetting to see it 
it is. It's it's scary to think that something that I've I've worked towards for five and a half years could be taken away in the snap of a finger over something so small and and so meaningless, right? And everything. Thank you guys so much for watching the ad. We were just chatting and then we'll get into the game and stuff. Um I appreciate you all. Um so long story short, protect protect your energy and and your happiness and your time because like me being chronically ill you know, I sleep for more than half of it. I sleep, like, I'm in bed more than 12 hours a day. I'm going to be real with you. And it's been like that for years. And sometimes it's more and sometimes it's less. Sometimes I don't get out of bed. And it really makes you realize, like, how precious the small amounts of time you have. So do not, do not waste your beautiful, precious energy being upset and angry and, and spiteful. Find ways to, to focus on positive things in your life because it'll change your life. And like, it's exhausting being upset and angry and worried all the time. And I'm an anxious person. And I'm a worrywart. And I'm a pessimist. And I do all those things. But it's something I actively work on. <laughs> it's something I actively work on every day. And it's why I have positive mental attitude tattooed on my fucking arm. So it slaps me in the face every day. Because I am not a perfect person. I'm far from it. And it's something I have to really try out every day every day and those really toxic people in my life i i still i still enjoy like sometimes reminisce and and wish the uh, the idea of them i miss and then i have to psh, slap myself and be like no me don't talk to that person anymore stop it you don't need them in your life you are a badass bitch and you're gonna find your way and you're doing fine and you don't need that toxic person in your life and then some and then i'm like but i miss them psh. Smack that out of there, okay? And I'm like, mm, doom scrolling on Twitter. Let me be upset. <laughs> go look at something happy. Watch some YouTube videos. Watch some streams. Go, go like sniff some flowers and 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 pull some like fuzz off your dog's butt. I I don't know, okay? Don't don't sit and and, and dwell on stuff. We live in a time where everybody's always upset and angry all the time. It is such a waste of energy. And there's nothing. A lot of these things, there's nothing you can do about it. Just go live life. Life is bigger and more than that. But yeah. <laughs> One 3D VTuber group on Twitch, though it's for Unreal Engine, not because you're racing against Unity VTubers. No, it's they have more in common. It's fine. I get it. I get it. You said you were like Gen Z, but you're like only three years younger than me. Dude, I am on the butt hair of Gen Z, and I don't want to talk about it, okay? I feel like I'm in the body of a fucking like what's be what's before millennial the age above that i'm in the body of that and like i i say weird stuff from the 40s and and i i'm like an old soul but i i'm i was born at the end of 1997 and i am technically a gen zer so get get with this bitch okay i'm i am gen z and i'm proud i'm not proud oh skippity toilet okay anyway <laughs> Okay, any of us could get isekai at any moment, right? Okay, so, okay, there we go. I, <laughs> lots of subs to stream them learning Blender. What do you mean that they get plenty of subs learning Blender? What do you mean? It's their job. To, what do you mean? The people, yo, okay, if it's a new sub goal, music learns Blender. Oh my god. Gen X. See, I feel like I have an old soul. Like, I say stuff and... All of you millennials and Zers are like, I have no idea. And then I Google the word and they're like, that's not a word. Oh, it's a word. Why do you know that word? And then, yeah, just like you get paid to play games. They get paid to learn Blender. Um, true. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the game. You can use Blender without modeling a single thing ever. If you want a current project you've been seeing, I've modeled not. I don't know. But really, you get paid to make friends on the internet just like them. That's true. That's true. And I'm hashtag blessed, okay? I have the best job in the world. It's also something I would only do if I loved it. Because at the same time, it's the best job in the world. But god damn, is it hard sometimes. No offense. I know it's not as hard as plenty of other things. But my, my heart still... Wait, what are we supposed to do now? Because I, like, we found her. Now what? Is there, like, a, something open? Do we, like, go through this butthole over here? Like. No? 
sometimes it's hard being judged all the time. And I am a perfectionist being on the internet because internet's gross, but I love it. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm the luckiest bitch. Okay, anyway. Oh, the door's open now. I just needed to pick up the ring. Everything's fine now. Okay. Dude, apparently when I get nervous, I break out the Kermit voice. Okay. I don't know when that started happening, but uh, uh, we're just gonna roll with it. We got Sassy Maria trying to steal us from our wife. That ain't my baby. That ain't my girl. She looks like her, even though I know that she's not the real Mary. Okay. Um, I noticed. <laughs> Also, anyway, how is everybody doing today? Okay, to practice our PMA, everybody say something good that they're either something happy that happened to them today or something they're happy about or uh, something nice it's in the chat. Stop it. What are you talking about? I'm trying to keep things light, James. In the rusty rain, but okay. Yeah. It looks like it's like acid rain on the ground. Did he just say you? <laughs> I think he did. I wasn't paying attention. The pool was most definitely. Oh, we are in the basement. Never mind. It's really hard to listen to more than three streams at a time. I used to do that a lot. Now I can't. My brain goes blip, blip, blip. And it disconnects. Wow, wow, wow. Used to do five or six. But that was also with streamers who didn't talk as much as me. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm a people pleaser and this job, I really struggle with the things and I judge the shit out of myself, I will say. And I wish I was better at social media, but you know. Jimmy! I got a cool gift today that makes me poop. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> There's like two million streamers. I'm happy I'm getting a PC. I got stabbed today and I lost a ton. Are you serious? Oh, did you donate blood today? I'm happy that I have a great job and even better job than you. And even better job than you. You do have a better job than me. You want to trade? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're so cute, Beppo. I'm happy I'm easy, friend. You, sorry, I meant that I went to the doctor and I drew some blood for testing. Ah, no, I got you. I got you. I got scared at first and then I realized. Good job, chat. Look at that PMA. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, yeah. So, chat, Nerva and I are about to celebrate our eight-year anniversary. And guess what I got him for all those years? You have it, a It was the most special gift ever, as you can imagine. It was so thoughtful and so very expensive, right? And definitely something that is is um, to represent eight years together. I got him a twenty dollars squatting potty. <laughs> is that what I think? <laughs> but it, it has RGB. <laughs> It's also partially for me because I'm tired of pooping in his toilet and not having one. <laughs> yeah, wait, Beppo, you need someone who knows Blender? There. Yeah. You think you could give me a hand? Me? <laughs> Well, no. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? I hate her again. Fine. She's back to being awful. How <laughs> you be honest? Oh, oh God. <sighs> hmm. What's this?
Not very cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. It's a lead ring. Ah, uh, not very cute. I agree with her. It's kind of scary. I don't really like it. There's like a creepy Phantom of the Opera mask on it. Boom. Side hustle does sound nice, Peppa. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can always um, smack Nerva to help, though. Um. Uh, okay, fine. You guys are swindling me. Maybe we'll try Blender again. One of these days, I'll, I'll hate it less, right? Okay, also the cutest thing about it is like, I got it as a gag gift. Him and I have just been like, tired and busy and just tired. And the our like, anniversary has not been like on both of our minds. Like we both haven't done anything. So I ordered him a gag gift. And I, instead of him being like, oh my God, of course he, he was like excitedly unwrapped it, put batteries in the little like light sensitivity. And then was like, I'm going to poop. And then going to try it out and like skipped away. And like, and then he came back and told me it was a good poop. So he, and he genuinely liked the gift. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. It's like, it was supposed to be kind of a doo-doo gift, right? Like, hee-hee. <laughs> but, like, he genuinely liked it. I'm glad you liked it and didn't hate it too bad. <laughs> I care about you and your cold in the house. <laughs> oh, man. The patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them when they make recovery, as my aim is always for the entire personnel, especially when their symptoms will become receding with effective treatment. I don't know what any of that meant. I kind of zoned out reading it. Whoops. A squatty potty. Go watch Go watch a YouTube video of, of the unicorn. Okay, this, I'll say no more than that. I haven't actually seen Nerva, so maybe he's really bad and it takes him two weeks because he, he has to Google everything he's done and make a ton of mistakes and has to redo everything nine times. But I definitely know the final product of his work is real good. <laughs> Dude, he's quick. He's so quick. Uh, sp specifically at outfits, though, he like models like at least the mesh like the of an outfit in like a day. He's, he's actually, he's currently right now learning Houdini again. And then he's also learning like real time crazy shit for a blender. Him and his brother uh, are starting a game studio as well. And like 3D studio. And I just like, I, I, I'll i be honest. I had this conversation with him the other day in karate. Is I was, I was telling karate how insecure I am because Nerva is so good at everything. And I just feel like I'm such a potato. <laughs> He has been held hostage for eight years and threatened on a daily basis, so he actually has to work fast. Exactly. He's just really good at learning things, and it's no fair. He's like, he's like, to be fair, he does something till it's done, though. He he he'll put in like a like a fourteen hour day. Dude, but he doesn't like. He's terrible at working on stuff he doesn't want to work on, though. Like he's like he like will put it off and stuff but if he's really excited he's like <laughs> and, and like learns a million things and i'm like stop there's no fair stop being good at freaking everything ah so jealous so jealous so jealous okay if someone could just cure my my poopy brain, that would be great. <laughs> Wait, I have already been in here. It's already been looted. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember like anything, and I'm I, I realize that we've been here before, but my brain just is like, whiff, whiff, poof. Then have we not been in this room? I should probably be checking like the map and shit. Oh dear lord. <gasps> Oh no, question one. Oh no, no. Can we reset it? No, 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 no. Can I reset it? Can I reset it? Oh no. I don't know what the answer is.
answers are to these. <laughs> it poisoned me. Can I try again? Am I, am I like forked? Okay, chat, we're good. I'm cheating this a hundred percent. We're a hundred percent cheating this. I'm Googling it. Um, other world hospital puzzle. Silent Hill 2. Don't judge me. I, j I w dude, I was like not prepared to like have to freaking remember that shit. Um, tell him what he's won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this one? Uh, question one is sixty seven, is two. I was right. Bachman, Munson, or Wil Mimi Bachman? Oh, it's Wils Road. So it's two, three, and then I think it was Miriam, which is one. <gasps> I was right at two out of three of the questions, but I didn't remember what order at all. So it's two, three, one. Okay. This is definitely, I guess, a little secret Easter egg. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. I'm glad we saved. Two. Three. One. Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Wow. The what loot? Damn, that was so many syringes. Holy shit. Okay. Well, we'll take that. Um, Red Raven, hello! And it's kind of a new skin. Here, we can show it off. So. Here's my model. It's so cute. Um. So beep beep beep. Uh do 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 do. Uh la 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 la. So um, here's my uh. <laughs> here's my Halloween fit, which I think is really cute. And then, um, this is our light mode and our dark mode version. And then they all have, um, different color to them and everything. And I just had my flashlight on for the spooky vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you guys like it. I feel like it's a vibe. The flashlight. So we're keeping with it. Woo! Okay, let me catch up on chat really quick. I blame it on the HD. I would say it helps to a certain degree. I wake up, sleep, work. Uh, yeah, he he literally only works on stuff because that's the only thing that's fun for him right now. And so he's boring. We don't like hang out. <laughs> he just works. I feel like everyone um, creative is. Uh, I just can't. I, I can't just force yourself to be creative when your brain wants to. Yeah, yeah. Organization, hygiene, all the things that aren't my PC are less of a priority, and those are the discipline. <laughs> nice thing, yo. We were going to put a whole entire ghost sheet over me, but because my hair is so big and, and fluff, it was like, um, it was like extra crazy. So I figured I was like, okay, well, um, we will, we will, we will, uh, we did a little hood instead. So it's kind of like a little ghost to be I think it's cute. I can't show you guys the Stellar Blade one because it's uh, part of my old model and we haven't ported the new stuff over. So uh, none of the outfits can work right now. For the, We haven't done uh, revamped the program just yet. But I have a cosplay of the, the Orca suit. The pink one. If you guys know which one that is. I have a bigger- Ah, oh, stop! How dare you post that clip in my chat? No!
So they're ranking season early. Yo, congrats at your own. Oh, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna ra I'm gonna save again. New model got the cheap puff now. Blah. All right. I need to start doing that. Every time this woman says something sus at me, I'm just gonna bleh. Okay, actually, where are we supposed to be going? Because I, I genuinely, I like zoned out. Like, I don't know what we're supposed to be freaking doing. Maybe just go outside. Probs. All right. We saved. We go this way. Then we go this way. Right? Maybe. Okay, wait a second. Oh, this is where we freaking started. I don't know. Ah! Chad, where the frick are we supposed to go? Maybe this? Didn't we just come out of the... It looks like we've never went to like the restroom, reception, reception. Like, I don't know. Yeah, we might need to Google it. Karate's not here today to tell me where I'm, what I'm doing wrong. I was showing your old world language. <laughs> Under the YouTuber witch hunt, I'm sure Twitch would be hunting that outfit down for crazy reason. I don't think so though because i i looked at their diagram it's not high waisted at all so whatever cross that bridge if we get there because of the skirt and stuff it should be fine it's not high waisted doesn't come up past very far at least said the hips area so should be fine whatever Put a few meta humans in Mikoverse, and now we can be hyper realistic people. And I was huffing and puffing my cheeks out. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah! I have a product that costed a few million dollars to develop. Oh, is, th is that how expensive meta human was? Okay, let's see. Sorry, let's see what the next is. Once they're resolved, go into the elevator and go back to the second where you use the ring on the lady statue. Oh, that's why I saw the ring. And I thought that was weird. I really do get confused on where what we're doing in this game. I also just like talk a lot and zone out. And then it's like, what were we doing? Like, you know what I mean? What is that? I thought she saw something weird. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? Why is she freaked out? Is that not right? Oh. Copper ring. Ta-da! I <laughs> need Adderall to play this. Dude, I get really confused. No worries! Clean and, and get your weeds. Sending hugs and love. Get out of here. I know. It's just me and more mac and cheese. Where did my dog go? Oh, the door's open. Make me feel stuff. right. Come on. It's gonna be fine. Oh, you mean, you, no, I wouldn't be surprised if a several million dollar project. It's really cool. I'm proud of her. And then team. It's done? What's done? Sick no more? Hmm. 
grab. All right. Watch way. What do we think? Okay. Yeah, where are we going? This is very deep. <sighs> Had some coffee. Mm, look at the reflective lighting in here. It looks good. We don't even have ray tracing turned on, but it looks... Ah! I just saw autosave. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Sounds very close. Ah! Bro, we are the slowest runners around. There, an elevator. Go. Go. Oh, how did we get in front of her? Oh, she fell down. Oh, no. Come on, hurry. No. 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 Oh, my gosh. Wait, is he gonna let her? Is he gonna let her in? looks like his wife which is even sadder oh my. I wonder where she disappeared to before why was she so weird I mean, she was kind of annoying. What I don't really understand is why she was so mad at us when she's the one who left that one time. That was really weird and sad. But now we just feel bad, like... And why was, like... Why did she get, like, behind us? What happened? Oh. Hospital entrance key. That's sad. Well, there goes the brat. The potential for this illness exists in all people and under the right circumstances. Um, any man or woman could be would be driven like him to the other side. The other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it, after all. There's no wall between here and there at last on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher or even a psychiatrist, unlike the director. But well, sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind, but to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why is the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Uh, is, are they talking about Pyramid Head? Are they talking about somebody else? I don't know. Oh, Wubuk 
exceeds my expectations with the story. Ah! I need to go keep playing that. The, the 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 Black Shore update. I need to keep playing. It's so beautiful. The area I haven't explored much because I the pretty much there's just quest and left or to to begin with to start with you know. Oh, we just came from there. Sorry, I'm looting. Loot loot loot. Loo loo loo. Loot it up. Loot it up. Maria, she is dead now. All right. Ugh. We're still on the other side, though. I was hoping we'd like. It's just my slider tendencies. Don't worry about it. Hi. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. We got a bug. We got... Come here. Come here. Okay. Or don't. Come here. It's fine. It's coming back. Yep. James, your aim is terrible. I tried to dodge. I was... I was adjusting the volume a little bit. And I made the mistake. Okay. Yep. Oh. My intuition was correct. Okay. Whoa, this ambiance. Wow. There is a lot of, a lot of things over there. God, the audio is crazy. I'm gonna turn it up for a second, listen. It's so overwhelmingly dyna uh, like dynamic. <laughs> no uh, Angel, I love you. Hope you're doing well. Sending love. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Glad you enjoyed it. I need to play it myself. Isn't there two over here? Ah, oh, there's one right there. You think I will trigger both if I trigger this one? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's a bug to the right of her, too. Okay. Hopefully that other one just stays away. Okay, well. Oh my god, right in the head. Um, I'm gonna try to not waste our bullets. I am dodging really badly, so maybe I need to. Okay, where's the... Where's the bug? I don't see it. I'm sure we'll get it. This one has a knife. Okay. I mean, oh, I think I just killed the bug. What the frick is all that noise? Ooh, oh wow. Oh, they were guarding an, a, like a ambulance station. Okay, cool. See, we have so many syringes, so, okay. I saw the light over here, so I just felt like we should come investigate. Let's see if there's any. Okay. Cool. Um. Is there any other bugs or anything around? Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Is there any other of them around? I kind of want to heal with a syringe, but I'm, if there's another thing I need to fight, I'll try and do that first. Maybe not. Not hearing any other crawlers. It might have just been them. Oh, hello. You see it? Oh my god, it almost got me. Okay, let's loot up really quick as best we can. Anything in there? No. Okay. I'm waiting to heal until we go to the next area as possible. Um, Connor, hello! I think the monster nurses are a metaphor for the medical... <laughs> Could be! I mean, you have to look, though. This is a remake of a really old game, so you'd, I guess you'd have to see if that was 
a current affairs. All of them are women, though, so it feels like. I would have to do, you know, after this game, after we get to the end of the game and stuff, uh, I'll have to do some Googling if my questions aren't answered of the lore. Uh, the music is getting spooky. Spooky. All right, I'm syringing. It's driving me nuts. Okay, we have a... I should have waited. Are you the only one? Are you the only one? Oh, damn. Oh god, she's so fast. Okay. Two, three. Oh my god, I'm gonna wait. I'm wasting. I should have waited. Oh no. No, 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 no. Dude, I should have waited. I wasted. Dude, I did so good. Like, flawless with other other mobs just to get just destroyed ah uh, man it's unfortunate that's just unfortunate now i hear some oh it's a buggy all right we're gonna wait okay some random there is hello hello did you hear that I Plot twist, this entire thing is meth er, induced hallucination. Hence all the syringes. Mood. <laughs> Never gonna give you what. I know I probably still won't show up until Monday, but I checked. My shipping in the PC is so close. It's two towns over. Ooh! <laughs> oh. He missed. Oh, oh. Oh my god. There's one to my back left. I hear it. Okay. Oh, it's a bug. I don't know what happens if they, like, actually hit you, though. There we go. There is bullets there. Gonna take them. I hear something over there. I don't know where it's coming from. I might die. Who knows? It's on the ground. I saw it. Time to go and kill it. Little creepy crawlers! One and two. Oh, 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 I think it's doing its... Yep, there we go. Okay. Is there any reason to go up there? No. Um. Oh, hello. Oh, God. It's nice. Their timed events are just top-notch. Scaring me in my cheeks. I don't know what's the path of progression. I'm trying not to do it intentionally. Um, if possible. So I can't tell if that is it or that is it, you know? God, the sounds. Can they chill? Can can the wham 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 chill? <laughs> the bug. Uh, again, I'm gonna say it. The rain is absolutely crazy because um. Okay. Oh God, the range on that thing. Ow. And this is why we waited. No. I jinxed it! I'm trying to save too many heals, damn it! I'm gonna have to go reload all that. Okay. Speed run. Speed run time. Alright. Eating my mac and cheese. Okay. Um do we have this? Okay, we do already have the key. Okay. Let's go. Based on scary nurses or the classic sexy nurfus archetype? Probably. 
every creature has some psychological meaning. Mmm. I could see that. Okay. Now let's see if I remember where all the loot was, chat. Was there something in here? I don't remember. Okay, there was. Okay. Speed run! Think we can do a passing by. Think we can loot as we go. How far they chase? Oh shit! Think they'll keep following us? Nope. Okay, I think I got. I think I got the syringe too. We'll see if I was quick enough. Something's gonna. Something's over here. Ow. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two. Ah, we hit each other back. The lack of locking on is hard. Okay. There. Oh, right here. Okay. There we go. By the way, have you ever played Red Dead Redemption? I do love me a good old Red Dead Redemption. A classic indeed. One of the best games. It's one of my faves. Ever made. I actually never finished the campaign though. Someday I'll go back. Someday. Was there loot in there? I don't remember. Ow, fuck. Let's just kill it. Okay. I think we need to shoot her. Okay. Um, was the- There wasn't loot here. I, I swore there was something here. Maybe not. Not next to this bitch. Okay. Syringe. All right. Oh, the bug grabbed us, right? Oh, I forgot about you. Okay. One, two, dodge, dodge. One, two, dodge. One, two. Hit on the ground. There's a bug somewhere. There it is. All right. There's another thing over here, maybe. Oh, no, it's on the ground behind us. Okay, got the loot. Where's the grounder? Should be a crawler nearby. Where is it? Ah, I see it. One, two, dodge. Drink some of my coffee. Husband and wife, yo, my southern accent. Did you stream it? No, it was before my streaming times. I played a little bit of online though, but nah, that was long before the Meizu started streaming. Back in the day and all. Back before I was a streamer. When I was just a mere lady with a PS4. And shitty internet. <laughs> Ow! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You got this down, it's like a routine. No, it's because I just died. And I was remembering where shit was, if I'm being honest with you. There's totally a bug in here that's trying to attack me and I need to squish it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So you played only the second title? Yes, yes sir, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Only, only the second title. First one seems like something I probably wouldn't enjoy. I don't know. It's quite old. But Red Dead 2 is great. I really enjoyed it. It was a banger. All right. Um, let's keep going. We're going. Uh, loot, loot, loot. Loot. I don't believe there's anything in here. What a disappointment. Okay. Over there. All right. Looks like this is the way of progression. Come here. I need to reload. Okay. She's not gonna give me a second to reload. All right, now she did. Thank you, ma'am. Wonder why they glitched like that. I wasted a bullet on her. 
All right. All right, it's fine. It's yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm not that good. I swear, husband. You you give me too much, uh, too much, uh, too much. Uh... Oh, hello. Too much credit. Oi! Oh, I knew it. I knew you biscuit would be in there. Ay, ay, ay. Get out of here, you little creepy crawler. You got too many legs. Not enough arms ahead. Okay, thank you. God, the camera is just being fun. So much fun with this camera. Can you please auto lock on since I can't make you... Okay, there we go. Everything's fine. We have it under control. Okay, I'm intentionally not healing. Which is how I died last time, but... I'm stockpiling my loot like a goblin, okay? Now, we use the syringe because we have so many of them. And now we're good. Totally fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yep. Uh, <sighs> How are you doing that, husband? First one is better. What? But the map in the second one is a mix between Florida and Middle West. And, uh, dude, it, it reminds me of home because I live in Montana. Just like playing, um, uh, Far Cry 5. Montana. Looks like home. I just love the, the, I'm, uh, I'm a sucker for, uh, OCD game mechanics and the amount of exploration and map. I love it. So humongous. Such an open world. You like the first one better. Isn't it old as, as farts? Laura, stop. It's dangerous. But yeah, I never actually finished the, um, the campaign. I think I only got to chapter seven. Okay. Hello. I was, uh, I was trying to get all of the, so there's a random events and then once you, you, there are a chapter indicative. So I was trying to, oh my God, I was trying to specifically only, I was trying to trigger them all for funsies. Cause I have, I have a little bit of OCD, a little bit, a little, just a little bit, maybe a little more than a little bit. Is there a bug? My controller is going off a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, I heard it. Oh, it's right there. Let's get rid of you so you don't nibble my toes while I'm busy. Okay, there we go. Skeech. Did we ever play Far Cry 5? I mean, I never beat that game either, but I played it in my own time. Before, that, that all came out before my streams. Colts in Montana? Dude. Right up my alley, bro. You got no idea. You got no idea. I love me a good old colt in the mountains. Biggest critique of Far Cry 5 is why was there no horses? Makes no sense. Everybody has horses. That's like the... I mean, we got uh, the four-wheelers on point, okay? Pickup trucks and four-wheelers? Hell yeah. But the lack there of horses, swing and a miss. Like, I'm surprised, you know? I'm going again. Oh, it was a PS3 game? It's not that old? Ah. So, like... More than 10, but le like around 10 plus years old? Mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, I, I thought the game was super pretty. I liked it. Good. Happy to relax after a crazy week. Well, I'm glad you're getting some relaxation. Um. Uh, I actually don't know the lore. Chat without spoiling. Can you guys what what's the lore of like? Silent Hill. I think I asked before, but I don't remember. 
I only played Far Cry 3. Far Cry 4 was the first Far Cry I ever played, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. I really like it. Came with my PlayStation 4. Um, Far Cry 5 was, uh, like, good. I liked the premise, but it was, like, okay. And stuff. But I will say, uh, I wasn't that interested in the weird, like, neon-colored one. And then Far Cry Primal, I just wasn't a fan of. I didn't play that much of it, but I just couldn't get into it because, like, the things I loved about Far Cry were, like, it was, like, the, uh, the opposite, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that was the opposite of, like... Yeah. Is there a lore? I mean, there's definitely a reason everything's fucked up, isn't there? I feel like there's deep lore with, with, uh, with Silent Hill. Everybody, I mean, people love Silent Hill. Eh. Should I have healed? Maybe not. Oh well, there's a bug. I see it. It's dead now. Dead bug. One, two, three, dodge. Oh, one, two. Dodge, 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 dodge. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, there's something here. Well, that's cool. Okay. We got a little something. Little something, something. We take it. There's another bug behind us. Where? I heard it. Ah. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's like spoilers or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, it's not, like, I don't think having a favorite PS3 game, I mean, my first console that I played a crap ton was the PS2. I just didn't own a PS3. And my first, like, Assassin's Creed game was on the Wii U. Like, I never had adult games. Wait, really? I've never played three. I think it's on. I think I have it on my PS four. Like I had a copy of it, but what was our first? I mean, so I had a PS two, and I had had this weird thing that plugged in my like TV and played weird things, and then I had my mom's older pc and i had like scooby-doo games for it but i never really used the like desktop that much but technically the desktop was first and then i had um again i didn't play it really that much i had a uh a game boy advance it was like the red one and again, I didn't I didn't have that many games for it. And and then I got a PS2. And then later I got like a DS Lite. And I, and I played the PS2 a shit ton. But again, I was so little. I had little kid games. They had a lot of kids games for that. And then um had a lot of like hunting games for it. And then I had um like I said, the DS Lite. I played a lot. I played the shit ton of that. And then um, had a Wii, and then a Wii U, then a PlayStation 4 that I bought myself right after, the, a year after I had the Wii U, and then I have a 3DS just to play Animal Crossing on that I bought used, <laughs> and then now I have a PC and a PS5. Oh, and I have a Steam Deck too, and a Switch. I have a lot of consoles, apparently. But I didn't, uh, my parents aren't gamers. Although my dad used to play with me. Um, but I don't have, I'm an only child. 
it's like most kids have like old like most of y'all have played like way older like way more popular everybody talks about games but like i had kids games you know what i mean so like i didn't have i didn't have like a lot of the like renowned games from all those consoles you know i just had little kid games and i didn't have any like older siblings or parents who you know so i didn't play like the old gta's i didn't play any like call of duty or anything like that i didn't play horror games you know i didn't have any of like the I don't know, acolyted games at the time. But. Um. So I've more been like a hardcore gamer, I guess, as an adult more, I suppose. Ah! Remember I bought Skyrim, but my laptop couldn't play it, so I didn't play Skyrim till way later. Oh shit. Okay, well it's fine. We're gonna heal anyway, so I think there's something else. Huh? No? I can't tell if the audio thing is happening again or it's just this room. No, I think it's just this room. It's just the sound. But yeah. Yeah, everyone says the PS2 is the best game era and everything, but, like, I'll be honest with you, I never played any of uh, the games that everybody talks about, you know? So, and then, like, I and I never played, like, all the Pokemon games. I didn't play, like, the Final Fantasy games. I didn't play... I, I, I like, I, I definitely didn't, like, have the one that everybody, like, talks about. Yo, Shiba! Thank you for the raid! Also, there might be an ad about to play soon, so I apologize in advance. I, I just got the notice for it. Um, hello! Hello, hello! Yeah, welcome! So, yeah, I didn't play... Yeah, I, oh, God, sorry for the... Ah! Hi, everybody! How is everybody doing? Hi! How is it... How was your stream? I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has, um, as, uh, whatever, like, uh, but yeah. Hi, Predator! Hi, 104. Hello, hello. Hi, Shiba. How was your stream? Hello, hello. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Was he skilly? Was it super skill skill? How is it scary? Or how is it scary? Was it scary? Was it wee 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 Yeah, everything was like rated like mature or whatever. So like since I didn't have any reason to ask my parents for them or like I didn't have a lot of friends like that had other games or older consoles and I didn't have older siblings. There was no reason for me to play any of those games that were like highly coveted. Y you know what I mean? Also, I actually don't have very many memories from my youth either. So even if I had played them, I probably wouldn't remember very well. I like have uh, a lot of like memory gaps, unfortunately. So um i like don't remember a lot of my like childhood anyway snes n60 oh you had oh you had all the nintendo oh wait you can you could see it husband you had all the nintendo bro yeah totally see i didn't play any of those nerva played a lot of the nintendo ones too yeah hello everybody being a <laughs> Pester by Nemesis 2, Resident 2, Resident Evil I had some jump scares. Yeah, it's a bit scary. Silent Hill is scary. I'm so weenie. I haven't played very many. I've only played Resident Evil 8. Is that the most recent one? I'm I'm trying to remember. B 
But yeah, what was the, what was the mansion one? Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that I have played. Village. Thank you guys for watching that. Thank you so much. Sorry, uh, it was just really poor timing, but I paused the gameplay and everything. Thank you so much for the raiders. If you guys are new here, I'm Musiki, the 3D VTuber, and the Unity game with an interactive uh, model, which is kind of cool. You guys, please go give Sheba all the love for the amazing, amazing raid. How are you doing, Predator? Hello, 104. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Mugshot. Hello. Thank you for blessing us with the poopa rain. Thank you, thank you. All the Shebas. Yeah, I played Resident Evil Village when it came out. I don't know if there's been DLC since, but I didn't play them. But I played it when it came out. Um, That was my first Resi game that I played. I've seen playthroughs of, like, all of them. But here's the thing. I have this problem. I have this problem with, like, stuff that I consume. I think it's also because a lot of times when I watch playthroughs, I'm multitasking because I'm, like, that bitch. And a lot of times I do it before I go to bed. So I think that, like, my long-term memory doesn't, like, lock and load that shit. But, um, <laughs> I, uh, I've, I've most like certainly seen like full playthroughs of like every I think I remember one time I went on a binge and I watched like some of my favorite creators like play like most of the Resident Evil series games and but I genuinely just don't remember them it's the same thing I've seen like all the Harry Potter movies like a million times I've seen at least twice all of the Star Wars movies but like uh, i've seen all the lord of the ring movies oodles of times and it's like i i sit here and to like actually like plot for plot like think what happens it just poof, poof, gone so i feel like that's how i feel about resident evil series like i'm just like and then sometimes like bioshock gets a little mixed up in there is bioshock the one that's on a boat I remember the one Resident... So I played Resident Evil Village, and then I really remember when the one before that, the one in the Bayou 7 came out. I, I remember I watched a lot of people play that. Um, But I, the other ones, over my head. These new horror games are getting super scary. I think it's part of it because of the graphics and sound. Dude, I know. The sound, too. Also, like... For me, like, the most enjoyable, like, scary game for me to play that I, like, my favorite that I've played is, like, Until Dawn. Because I feel like that game is, like, such... Bioshock is not on a boat. Which one is the one that's on a boat? Oh, it's underwater? Okay, well, then maybe. Maybe I am thinking about it. What's the one where you're stuck on, like, a, like a, like a boat that's been, like... What's the one where you're stuck in a boat that's like on like it looks like it's like rusted and stuff like you're but it, it and there's like a monster chasing you around. Got to hide sometimes. You can't fight it. And like you open like hatch doors. They kind of look like submarine doors, but they're like I th I thought it was like on a Is that a Resident Evil game? Am I making it up? Is it? Did I dream it? Maybe. Um. <laughs> hi, hi, though. How did you enjoy your your uh playing Resident Evil though, Shiba? Also, if you got to go D stream, I totally understand. Close to the sun. Maybe. I don't know. I think for me, a lot the the audio design really gets me in this game because it's very distracting and like ominous. Um, I will say. I think my most enjoyable horror games uh, for me that are my favorite to both play and watch are ones that do have a lot of story to them. Because, like, for instance, I don't know if you've noticed, but today I would say then kind of, like, falls to the walls blazing through the last couple chapters. And I find that games that don't have, like, proper resting phases where I get to enjoy the story, I get to have, like, this false sense of security... Um, you, I find myself getting, like, so used to being jump scared and, like, scared the whole time that, like, it almost becomes less scary because the whole entire thing is intense. Like, it never, but when it breathes, has some story and has, like, like, lingering and, like, silence and all of that, I find the scares to be a lot more effective when there's like proper breathing room and i feel this way about movies too um 
I find myself getting a little desensitized when it's like bah, 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 all the time, you know? Then it's just fucking scary. I will say the scariest game I've ever played is Visage. That game is nightmare feel endlessly. I hated every second of it. I actually really enjoy watching other people play it, but dear God, least favorite horror game I've ever played. That was like one where like I would like get stuck and I would have to have chat tell me what to do next because I like physically just couldn't move forward. I was so scared, you know? I think I missed. Okay. I missed again. Oh god. His like natural sway just really sucks. I'm gonna have to heal. Like a super heal. Can you not syringe heal when you're in attack? Oh shit. Well, there we go. Did I- ugh, Do I have to run through all that again because I didn't heal? I've been trying to save my heals because they're so rare in this game. That's my biggest complaint about this game is I find myself like m trying to manage resources more than worrying of like than just playing. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> there's only so many hills in this area. <laughs> oh, oh, where am I? I don't even remember where this was. Oh, I do. Damn it. We're going to have to run through all that again. Really? <sighs> it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Sorry, chat. Uh, thank you for head pat. You're stuck on a boat and close to the sun, but it's not old and rusty. It's like top of the month, like pre war shit. Might be. It definitely seemed like it was an old war shit. Oh, God, I don't know. It's old though. The game is like, we like somewhere between like came out like around 2014, 2016 at least. Like, I watched it in high school or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Blah, 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 blah. True means you. Uh, but the underwater city of Bioshock is pretty old and falling apart. A lot of doors, big gears, and bank vault stuff. Maybe I'm not thinking of Bioshock. I don't know. There's so much going on on the jump scares. You because Yeah, you just, like, desensitize to it all. Chat, I'm very sorry that I fucked up and we have to redo this again. Oh, wait. Okay, this is farther than we were the last time I died. I'm sorry. It's because I'm saving heals. That's my problem. I'm trying to save. Oh, I missed. And I didn't dodge enough. I, the lack there of locking on is so hard. I know there's a bug. And I know there's more bullets. I'll go get them. All right. Yeah, I don't know which one. Mm, I want to say Bioshock 1 was like 210 and 2 was 212. You know what? Now I have to Google it. What is what is Bioshock? I'm sorry. And now, okay. No. More realistic than 1. Nah, Bioshock is too cartoony. Then it wasn't this. I don't know what it was. You said under the sun? <laughs> Close to the sun. My bad. No, not this either. I know this game. One of the Resident Evils on? On a boat? Oh, is it Biohazard? Ah, that's why Bio- what, That's why I thought Bioshock, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just remember. Maybe this is it. This kind of rings a bell. Maybe I'm thinking of. Oh, that's Revelation, so. I don't know. Just ignore me. Okay. Never mind. Never played Bioshock, though. I've never played it. Anyway, ignore me. 
Yeah, no, I know, I know of the game closer to the sun and all that. Okay, chat, where did we lose stuff? Let's do that real quick. Bug. Na 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 Is there anything there is right there? Let's go around that so we don't get caught. Okay. Do 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 this might be a waste if I get hit. Bye bye. I'm running away. Going in the store to get away from you. Hopefully they don't follow me from behind. I hear them. That was dumb of me to not kill them before I came in here with them. Okay. Um. Oh god. I might have made a mistake. I might have. Okay. We're gonna have to whip out the shot. Oh god. Okay. I missed. Oh god, there's a bug on my shoe, that's why. Ha! <laughs> okay, okay, I was being- I was trying to be too quick. And also loot, and that was my mistake. Okay, okay, we have to redo it again. This is my bad, this is my bad shit. This is my bad. This is my bad, this is my bad. This whoops on my part, okay. Alright, alright, it's fine. It is fine. Me casually having to reload all of this again because I keep forgetting I didn't say it before. Okay. <sighs> there is the Water little brat child. Since when is this here? What? Why is there this? There was not both of those here before. We only killed the nurse last time. Why is there another mob here? It's like punishing us. What? What? Why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. It was only a bug and and this thing. That's crazy. Why? We're punished. I bet there's a bug still. Weird. That was strange. There there wasn't a four-legged thing again, was there? Weird. There's a little RNG going on. Interesting. They released Bioshock 1 and 2 remastered? I don't know. I just remember someone being on like a, like a, in a, um, like a rusted old warship or tanker or something. And they had like those like big old, um, it seemed like they had those like big old doors that like lock like big old seals. <laughs> and stuff. But I might be pulling that out of my ass. I don't know. Maybe I dreamed it. It was only just a dream. Mizu out here shooting all the nurse ladies in the face when she can. That's such an un, like, natural, like, gait about them that is so hard to aim. And then he wobbles, too. He's a wobbler. A wobbly wobbly boy. When I'm aiming, it's so easy to like accidentally turn my fucking light off. Ah, uh, man. Whatever. Oh, man. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get out of here, bitch. Oh, my gosh. She had like a human voice there for a second. Ah! Okay, whatever. One, two, three, dodge. I tried. Oh my god, are you the double P? Be trying to save heals. It's, it's stupid. You're stupid, Mizu. <laughs> ah, I just saw one of the endings and it made me very sad for this game. Don't say that. I'm sure I'm gonna get the bad ending. Don't say that. 
<laughs> oh no. I'm gonna I'm gonna resave where I looted this room. Even though it's pointless. I would like to get to the next save without having to deal with it. Did you get attacked by thighs? I damn well did. I did. Oh my god, it's right there. Do we not every time we've walked through this room, have we not triggered this thing? Until now? That's actually wild. I swear we only dealt with the nurse and the bug before. I've never heard that noise. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Going to grab the bullets. Squishing all the bugs. Going to grab the bullets. All the buggy bugs. It's fine. Gotta turn it open and close? I don't know. Yeah, like a wheel where you have to spin it and it like seal locks. It takes a while to open the door and then like monsters come to hunt you and you have to hide. It's kind of the vibe. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been so long. I am probably imagining things at this point. I'm gonna kill everything. It's fine. 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 I feel like the first several times we walked through that room, we didn't we didn't trigger that the four-legged thing at all. It's just really weird. One, two, three, dodge. One, two, oh shit. Okay, she's doing that attack. Okay. One, two, three, and she's down. Save some bullets since I wasted so many. See if we can flank her. Cassie, how are you doing? One, two, no. One, two. Damn. It's fine. Oh, let's just shoot her in the head. Okay. Oh, I suck. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It wasn't a bad ending, but the talk of today and ending fits so well, it actually touched me. Aww. I'm dying so much and I apologize, chat. Oh, I should have used the syringe. Well, too late now. I missed. This guy spit at us. Oh. Oh my god. Well, the dodge is counted, so I guess whatever. I think it's gonna poop. Okay. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Break! Give me that. Okay, let's go to the next area. There's a bug somewhere over here. Hopefully it doesn't come in the door. Okay. First. One. Two. Missed. I missed again. Three. Dead. Three dead sh headshots. There's a bug. There's a bug. There's another. There's a floor turd. One, two, three, four. There we go. I don't remember where all the loot is, so we're reloading. Let me reload. Okay. Okay, there's nothing in there. We're doing it. We're doing it. Well? No. Ah, I knew there was one here. Oh my god. One. Two. Dodge. Dodge. One. Get him. Get him while he's down. Get him while he's down. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Trolling radio. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I feel like you being all brave and calm. I've died like seven times though in this area. So now I'm like, we're getting shit done now. 
We're 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 out here and we're getting her, we're getting her done. Get over here and fight me like a man. One, two, three, dodge. All right. Can we go in? Oh, hello, hello. What? There we go. Give me that. All right. Surely there's more. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Whoo! Okay. For this we've gotten I see bitches being crazy. Come here. I missed. They got some quick timing wobbles. They got wobbles for days. All right. Couple bullets here. Ah! I knew it was there too. And I still scared myself. Nah! Go down! It's fine. Quad cheeks, extra butt cheeks. Very nice. Your key. Chat, I did it. I made it past where we were stuck. Let's go! Small victories, baby! Uh, small victories. I swear, if there's something spooky on the other side of this car, I'm throwing hands. Okay. Good, good, good. See what's over here? Anything to loot? I am the little bootle goblin. <sighs> I still can't get over the fact that this game, like, you get vibrations in the controller from the rain. What a crazy notion that is. The haptics on this game are insane. They're like half the experience. You guys are missing out. I wonder if it does it in the Steam version this much, or if it's only if you play on PlayStation. Hope everybody's doing well, though. Thank you for hanging out with little old Miser while she poops her pants over and over again. Sorry, I'm like desperately looting as well. If that's not obvious, I'm I'm sure because there's just so like I'm traumatized from the beginning of the game how little a loot there was in the game that I just feel the need to freaking check every corner because we were like so often like having to save dying having to like just save station having no heals and just hoping that you like get hit zero times so now I'm traumatized from that experience and and we're just looting like our life depends on it because it kind of does <laughs> maybe i missed a lot of loot in the beginning because i was so scared though that's very possible but i was running on like zero heals the whole time in a dream and like zero bullets i thought that was something it's just a dirty can Although it is a little suspicious how much loot we've been given. Dude, this child is an absolute menace. She really is. We, Dude, we're still in Poop City? Come on! Is this a boss fight? Oh my god. Did y'all see what that shit under my feet? Did you guys see? Did you guys see the thing under my toes? Oh. I'm going into the poop cabin. Oh my gosh, that was not fun. Is this the map? Hey, who is not bold enough to be star stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth cannot be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Yuki. Chai, I'm a weenie. I'm a weenie. I'm weenieing. I'm weenieing. I feel like the, 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 
this is accurate to how I'm feeling. <sighs> you know, I'm, I feel like we're doing terrible, but at the same time, I, I think I'm just like not giving myself enough credit. We've been making great time today. Like we finished the, I did finish some of the poop hospital to help myself out for today, like intentionally, but, um, but I feel like we've been making decent time with, uh, our exploring and stuff, which I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Hello. <coughs> nice if I can knock them down or keep them on the ground. A lot more predictable. Just gotta keep on stomping. Just keep stomping. Just keep stomping. Stomping, stomping, stomping. Oh, hello. Ooh, good shot. Not the second one, though. Okay, okay, we're out, we're out. Ow, oh, let me out the door, 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 okay. Oh my god, okay, it's fine. We're good shit, we're good shit, it's fine. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate it, thank y'all, thank y'all. Some more heals, a little too many heals. If I'm being honest with you, and they're being a little generous. Yeah, why was the... Dude, the beginning of the game, where it's the freaking tutorial. Why was it so extra mean? That's what I want to know. Why was it so extra mean? Mm-hmm. That's where it came from. And that's where we need to go. Okay. It was like extra, 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 extra mean. Just to now be like, oh, here's all the heels. Here's all of them. Did you like Samira? You can have all the heels that you could possibly want. Oh, there's a bug too. Great. I am trying to hit the bug. Okay, we're gonna have to hit that bug some. Dude, it's gonna get us. Step on it! There we go. Yep. Dude, this game... I don't even think I'm halfway through it. I'm gonna have to... I guess at the end of today's stream, I'll... Okay, that definitely is progression. Okay, then I deserve that. Dude, they, I love that they catch your freaking, like, hit. They're strong AF. If I got hit by a freaking crowbar or, like, a tire iron, or, like, whatever, a pipe that many times, I would go down in one hit. In the way. Okay, you can go that way, too. Interesting. Multiple ways. Okay, there's nothing. Okay, let me check our map. I keep... Looking at the wrong maps. Okay. Uh, I think this is progression, so... Okay. I'm thinking. Excuse me. Yeah, we can't go through there, right? Yes? Oh, no. Okay. Or maybe there's several ways to progress. That could be the possibility. Let me ch let me check the map again. Cause there's there's the other climby window. Is this? I don't know. Let's see. There's something to our right. I hear it. Okay. Oh man. Figures. This is why. This is why. worth syringe time chat what do you think there's a bug somewhere i don't know where it went bullet okay here it is dude as we stomp it it bit us well syringe time now 
Oiki. Okie dokie. Or the chokey. I know there's one in here. At least. Surely more than one. There's several bugs. I hear them coming. Oh my gosh! She just ran up on us like. And she's got the bug coming in to help her. Ow! Oh my gosh! Run! Run, Forrest, run! Get out of here! Holy buckets of biscuits, funnel them in. Ah, reload your pistol faster! We're in a zombie apocalypse up in here, Jay Louise. I don't even know what kind of freaking achievement I got. Go down, bitch! Oh my gosh. Biscuits and gravy! Those bugs are coming in clutch with those people. They're just, they're just like little helpers, aren't they? Yeah, you! Take that. Well, that was lovely. How very nice of them. This, uh, this journey has been. Hello. Hello. How did you climb up there? Okay, I don't like that. You can stay over there. Thank you. Thank you. Hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. Okay. Okay, I think this is the the path of progression. There was way too many mobs. So we're gonna we're actually gonna go back. I know. We're gonna use another syringe, cause we're greedy bitches and Um there was there was a side uh building that I saw that we could parkour through. So it could just be another direction to like go through. Or it could be something some secret. Um I don't know, right here. See? It is kind of hidden. So we'll see. There's definitely going to be mobs in- Oh, dear god. I already hear them. Oh, they're going to be everywhere. They're going to be left, right, center. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Dodge! Dodge! Very- Ah, still got me with the farts in the peeps. Sir, I would like to loot these extra bolates. Thank you very much. All right, thank y'all. There's some bugs. Um, hello. How are you doing? Get the bug, get the bug, good job. Good job. That's our priority. Screw the bugs. My hands are going numb. My heart condition's flaring up. It's like, bro, why you must you play scary games every day? And I say, bruh, get used to it. <laughs> oh, hello there. You think you're sneaky, huh? Eh? Me casually wasting all my bolates. Hmm, I hear you have a friend. Where art that friend? A buggy friend, mayhaps? No? Yes. Oh. Hello. Oh, and a bug. I saw the bug. Accidentally turned off the lights. That's not a good idea, Museum. That's never a good idea. There better be something over here for me to come over here and deal with uh, Legs McGee. <sighs> Kill the bug, damn it. Hang on. And then kick you just a little bit as well. Okay. Any reason to cut? Oh, you could have shimmied through there. Oh, no. Hi, nerve damage. How am I like in the games? You know, it's great. I, I actually really like it. I really like it. But dear Lord, do I hate playing it. Does that make sense? Does that, does that compute? I'm a, I'm a weenie. I think I would, I would really love watching somebody else play it, you know? Less so like playing it myself. Yeah. Uh, it's great. It's great. Wish there were more heals considering I'm playing in easy mode, like normal mode. Um, 
Although I feel like there's been quite a bit of like like loot now that I've gotten farther. So maybe it was just the beginning of the game was just exceptionally hard. And it, it's taken me a long time to get used to like not being able to lock on. Oh. Well, it looks like all ways lead to this side of the crevasse. There was two ways to get here. Very nice. Um, but yeah. But I'm also a little baby bitch and it's very scary and I don't like that. <laughs> Dude, he like mimicked the noise I made. He like whinnied back at me. Sir, please. Please, have some... I'm talking the chat. You're very distracting. Please, thank y'all. Bug, I'm so tired of you. Okay. But yeah, I'm basically... I had to take a walk uh, for my mental... <laughs> Dude, it's... It's something. It's... Something. Um... No, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm enjoying it, but I'm also like hating it just a little bit because I'm a weenie. Like real talk, I love horror games. Love them. 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 But I like really like watching other people play them a lot more. Then I like playing them myself. I'm not good under pressure. But I, when I, uh, but yeah. Aw, uh, you're doing fine. You guys are sweet. I also just don't feel like, uh, I, if I'm too scared, I tend to, I feel like not make as good of content. Like there's like, like, if I get too scared, I feel like I don't progress. Where's the bug? Oh, hello. So I'm trying to throttle my scaredness and, and, and trying my best to, like, still keep it going. And be okay at me, you know. But that's also why I have you guys backseat. Is so that, like, we don't get terribly stuck, you know. <laughs> I, like, saw it, but I didn't under... I, I saw it, like, I didn't get what I was seeing, you know. Oh my god. The lack there of lock on is hard. I don't rem only now notice the weird noises those things make. Um but I'm trying to thank you. I appreciate the affirmation to make me feel like I'm doing okay. Okay, we've explored I think everything. I do like that it appears to be lin like not like it appears as if it's not linear, but it is, and I I enjoy that because it, it you know, I feel I feel like I'm doing okay then, you know. There was a hole. Hey, it's gone now. Uh, the other place said that before. Don't like how this but a boy stands right now. Okay, hello. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary James. What does that mean? Someone wrote this. Uh, L A E E M. That's not. Hmm. L I L A E E M. Or no, I R L. Does it does the capital spell anything? Let's see. I'm gonna I R L A E E M <laughs> O U D E Oh she was sleeping and then did that because you laid next to Linker Poo. She's a jealous little monster. E N E Oh wait, N A E. It's actually hard for me to to pick out. I don't feel like that good. Yeah. I it doesn't look like anything. I don't see any like I don't really see 
see any like combinations. I, I, it might just be like nothing. Ooh. But that's why I have you guys backseat, because then it helps me if I'm really sick. Ooh, hello. Map update, thank you. Or not. A memory, maybe. <laughs> I will take that save, though. Thank you very much. Save station. Gotta let my save station. Mary J. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. It's actually hard to read that. And like, get, God, that little lamp scared me. It's actually hard to read that and like get the capital letters out of it. Your brain just auto fills in blanks and stuff. It's like, you know, when you like, when people, um, you know, when, you know, when like they, like the, you read those things and they're like intentionally written wrong and stuff, but you can still read it. Or it's like upside down or weird or like missing letters or spelt wrong in your brain. Just like, you know. Sister Pooh, what are you doing? Thank you guys for hanging out with me though through it. I need to, maybe on my day off I'll, I'll edit the videos and stuff. So I can start pulling them out through YouTube. I, it's surprising the amount of people who say like, ah! Whoops! <laughs> they don't say that. Um, who say that they found me from YouTube? So, and I, I feel like my YouTube is small. I'm gonna be honest. In, in like the dream of dreams, I always wanted to be a YouTuber, not a streamer. You know. I'm better. I feel like with that kind of. Like, like, I, that was like, cause like, I don't consume that much Twitch content. I'm trying to be better, but I, that, I'm like, that's a huge weakness. Like, I don't get Twitch culture. I don't watch that much YouTube or Twitch, you know, like before I started streaming on Twitch, like same thing with like VTubing. I didn't really know what VTubing was or like consume VTuber content before I became one. Um, and a lot of that is because I just watch a lot of YouTube. I say that, but I also don't watch that many creators. <laughs> I like half my few I watch like a shit ton of and then, you know, but I think that's probably pretty normal for people. But yeah, I am definitely uh, a YouTube watcher. Cause I'm, huh? A weirdo, a hundred percent all the time, every day. That's why you love me. <laughs> He says, as I buy him a squatty potty for our eight year anniversary. I'm sorry if that was like a terrible gift. Normal people report things. Do you, are you, are you, do you love that we're together because you found your passion because of me? Yeah. Now you found your passion for 3D modeling because you, I became a VTuber and you made me a model so I didn't have to be bald anymore. He's cute. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Hey! I thought I was safe in here. This is my poop spot! Woman! I'm pooping in here! Stop! Stop! I need help! I am not going back! Ah, dude, I was taking a load off over here. You two are great things. I'm glad you guys like her. I don't talk that much about our relationship. I try to t Okay, now I can start using my tiny heels because uh, we have plenty. Oh, are you loading up the nervous clear? <laughs> nervous is Swiffer. <laughs> There's something so funny about watching you Swiffer. You know, you know, is it bitching at you because the door is open? <laughs> you know that you're in love when you find it hot when you see your man using a Swiffer. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you Swiffer. I'm not. He's <laughs> oh, just like over there, like dusting. You look like like Fabio. 
Fabio. <laughs> you look like a Fabio. Yeah, you look like you got your long hair. You you looking like kind of buff. And your broad shoulders, and you got your Swiffer. And uh, stop twerking. Oh, he's twerking now. I'm over it. Okay. <laughs> You know what you get, should get him next year is one of those reverse neon Ghostbuster signs where you see the ghost butt cheeks hanging. <laughs> what? He would love that. You can stream on YouTube. I know. I don't watch streams on YouTube either, though. I'm all about that pre-recorded anti-social content. See, I am like, I would rather lurk and I have to make myself comment in people's streams. I have to be like, okay, Miseo, you're gonna talk. And Nerva's like, and then like people are like, oh my god, Misa! And I'm like, and Nerva's like, see, aren't you glad you actually said something? They love you. And I'm like, ah! my social anxiety. Can you? Ah! She's that stupid. Nervous like that is like the pick me up for your like confidence you need daily because like everybody is so nice to to be fair today I went into Lena Lizer's stream and she was like oh there's me you always so nice to me like saying that me like I'm over here modeling a disgusting like burnt corpse she's saying it's cozy vibes in here it's not <laughs> <laughs> like, like mocked me for my comments last the previous stream, and I thought that was funny. She remembered that, and I squealed. I was like, ah! "Dude, twerking has brought us <laughs> down to 107." It was, <laughs> oh, Nerva, my BPM when you were swiffering was 130, but when you started twerking, 107. You ruined it. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. Poor Nerva. He just wanted to, to show his cake off. There is a phone ringing and uh, that's my worst nightmare. I keep everything on silent. Thank you very much. <laughs> 3D made the Nerva with a Swiffer. Dude, if he had a maid costume on, that would be even better. They don't make maid costumes big enough for his uh, beefy arms and strong neck. Are you laughing? Oh, his cake too. But the, the, they have skirts. You're, the, the, every kind of butt fits in a skirt. Come on. I was. I'm talking about your other your other beefy assets. <laughs> I don't know what flirting is, chat. I just tell him that it, I that I like the way he toots. You know. Yeah, I do. I only hate it when you fart in my face intentionally. If it just slipped out, then that would be funny, okay? But the fact that you intentionalize the fart, that's the problem, huh? No, no, no. I like I like the sound of them and the comfort you find with your farts, but not the smell of them, okay? Keep them at a, a, at a decent distance, thank you. Don't ruin the illusion of the stinkless gas, okay? Farts are funny, but they're only funny when I don't have to s smell them. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I love that I'm just like having a one-sided conversation with you, like while, <laughs> while I'm playing a horror game and love it. Chat, aren't we cute? We're so <laughs> Man, infinite cake fits in a maid dress. Exactly! Exactly. Infinite cake. Okay, where was the ringing um, phone? Oh, it's this one. I don't. I don't like it though. I don't really want. Four minutes for a dollar. I don't know if that's expensive or cheap. The problem will be the bice. <laughs> Husband's finally a way to take the heat. <laughs> Happy. He's got the buns. Buns. Hello? Anyone there? Nope. Just you, boo boo. Just all y'all, Jamesy Poo. Coin? Present? A key? A note? <gasps> A 
Oh no, it's for my beloved. Mm -hmm, I got you. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth you shall. Is there cubes? It means brown ice cubes. But it needs to be clean. It made brown ice cubes? I... Not clear Just not clear <laughs> Stop. <laughs> My artisanal uh, ice cubes are poop brown. Uh, <laughs> you should know the keys in the park. At the fate of the praying woman, the wrench will open the gate and the key will let loose the abyss. So I shouldn't get the key? Give me the wrench! Give me the wrench! Yay! Woo! Dun dun! Dun dun! Brown ice cube alert! Huh? No, it doesn't matter. I don't care. It makes a cute little noise. Dora likes it too. Yo yo, what do you think of that zing dongs? You want the ice cube? Oh yeah, no, don't give the rest to her. You so so! Are you excited for ice cubes? Ice cubes! Artisanal ice cubes! <laughs> she likes them. We have quite the the atmosphere up in my room. Two screaming huskies, both with different alternating levels of sass and, and ass gas. And the and Narva and I bickering like an old married couple. And me enjoying his swiffering skills. <laughs> Did something just move in the background? Yeah, it looked like something moved. Like when... Oh, hello! I just wanted... I'm gonna be honest. I wanted some of the soda. Not... But I'll take that. I guess I'll take heels. I, I was here for the soda. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the walls at my doctor's office are like super thin. So you can hear everything going on in the other rooms today. I heard him telling another patient that they make pills that will take the smell away from your farts. What? <laughs> you are lying. Remra, there's no way that happened. I don't believe you. There's no way there's a pill to sn I need that. Actually, my farts aren't that stinky 90% of the time. I fart a lot. But the smell isn't the problem. It's the it's the amount of gas, okay? I even talked to my doctors about it and they're like, eh, it's just you. And I'm like, oh, thanks. It's great. I even went on a no gas diet. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. I like cut out soda, cut out all these things. It made like no difference. And I was like, well, it is what it is. What? <laughs> no, it was, they, they were trying to, because I'm always bloating. They thought that it would help with the gas in my gut, in my like bump, in my rump. No, it was. It was literally to help with gas, including farts. It didn't. <laughs> it was minimal, le like, a change. It was, like, a little less farts. Not, like, not enough. Not enough to make me stop drinking soda. Maybe that's an idea they called the f fecal deodorant pill. <laughs> Stop! That's so funny. Also, I repeat, I stay away from my wish list. Punk punk sounds like life to me. Yeah, you, you guys made it. <laughs> Every streamer needs to fart. Uh, the fart fight. My farts aren't that stinky, like 90%. That's what. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all, here's the thing. If you don't fart that often, it'd be a fucking brewing up in there. So that's why girls have extra stinky farts. Is y'all bitches be a hold in them if you just be letting them rip all the time less stinky longer you letting them brew up into there the stinkier they be getting you gotta just let them be free or everyone's gonna know everyone's gonna oh my god i have to show you guys this video oh my god i hope i liked it give me one second i i i've never i've never related to anything more in my life and i had to show i was laughing so hard and i had to show nerva this the other day uh, I don't think I've watched that much YouTube since- Oh, hold on. I have to- I have to show it to you guys. I was literally- I have never related to anything more in my life. Okay, so- so this is- this is call- <laughs> Call me Chris and Selena Spooky Boo. 
and they the, selena and chris are like my spirit animals i'm telling you and uh is my you okay is the internet gonna be a tur okay oh yeah here it is and I i've never related to anything so much in my life and selena is me selena is me <laughs> Okay, okay, this is I, I oh we gotta snooze. We gotta snooze the uh, the the ad. Okay. Uh, it turned off This is she's like a, she's like a, Do you ever do you ever just like like literally do you ever just literally like rethink of like what you could have done about that one like person being an asshole to you like somewhere? The, Selena is like my shower thoughts. A lot of money here. That could be really oh, crime happened here. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> and she has a fanny pack. Oh my god, is that a shit? Yeah, well, this bit. How long have you been walking around with a shit in your pocket? <laughs> Sometimes you just need to know when to be prepared. Oh my god. Here. She puts it on her leg. <laughs> I think it's funny, I think. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're getting a read, oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, boy. Hello. Oh, no. Hi. How was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? Thank you so much. We're not wa watching weird uh, poop humor or anything. Hello. <laughs> what were you guys playing? Hello, Dank Lord. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, what were you guys up to? Thank you so much for the raid. If you guys are new here, I'm Easy Keith, the 3D VTuber in a Unity game. And my VTuber is interactive. It's nice to meet you. Hello. Um, I was showing Chad a funny video. And um Hi! <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Cosmic, thank you for the follow as well. Bye! How was your stream? Thank Lord alone. Welcome everyone. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, you guys get to enjoy it too. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, like we're we're I also playing Silent Hill too. So they're ghost Did hunting you? and and she her, she please. she ripped out a poop. Have, it turned off. I got excited. I have liquid ass. <laughs> no. Uh, it smells so bad. Yeah. I have it too. I bring this everywhere I go. <laughs> so this is like this is the funniest thing I've I, I, ever like I wish people did this. This is just oh, uh, it smells so bad. Yeah. I have it too. I bring this everywhere I go. Why? Because you just don't know. Have you never been in a scenario where someone's being an asshole, but you don't have the balls to say something? Like all the time, they say something and then you, so you lay you in bed. Spray it in so then face? you go back in the situation oh. and as you go by, you spray it and then you go, was that you? You've never done that? No one can't say I have. Oh, I did. <laughs> Dude, it smells so bad too. The liquid ass though. But imagine, imagine someone's just being a jerk and you, you're you not brave enough to say anything back. So you just like spray it on the back of their pants or something. Like, and you're like, oh my God, was that you? Oh. And you just walk away like you immediately win. <laughs> I just think that's like the shower thought that I have of like, oh, I should have said that. Like, you know, when you lay in bed, like, rethinking that, like, awkward moment in that one moment or with your coworker or, like, whatever, and you had no comeback to them being a douchebag to you, that's what you do. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the rain. Oh, what's side of the end? We are also playing Silent Hill. Uh, I don't think we're anywhere near the end. I'm a slowpoke, and I'm also a big weenie, and I am hoarding heels like there's no tomorrow because there is not enough. But, yeah. Oh, I remember seeing that in a package. Thing. Oh, I hear it smell. It just, oh, I literally have a bottle of liquid ass in my Jeep right now, and I take it everywhere I go. <laughs> See, that's what you got to do. And the next time somebody crosses you, you just give it a spritz, and then you turn back and be like, oh, oh, what was that? Oh, like, disgusting. Uh, currently, we are half dead as always. And uh, we are, we we finished the poop side of the hospital, and now we're in the streets. 
Um, so yeah, finally, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Poop Squad. Again, I'm so sorry that you came in right as I'm like telling regale you know what i would love to apologize more but let's be honest my whole entire humor revolves around farts and poop come on like that's just what you get <laughs> anyway i if you gotta go do stream and relax after your death defying experience in silent hill i totally understand please go rest you know get your snacks get your poops do all your things all the love thank you so much for blessing us with your community and everything dude oh my god it's okay we talked about enemas yesterday which <laughs> We're already besties. We're already besties. Uh, oh. Reminds me of that crazy lady. The, you know, the crazy, the crazy lady, um, who, the, the coffee enema lady on YouTube. Woof. I'm, gl I'm glad we're kindred spirits. We'll get along just fine. <laughs> but I hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you again. You're so sweet. Oh, that's where we're going. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into the nightmare. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, tasty. Just the kind of doors we love. Nightmares and darkness doors. Mmm. <laughs> I love that. Let's have more of that. Okay. Well, I think everything's a dead end and we have to go through the demon door. I guess that's what's going on. Good for us. Not into it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> uh, now we're fighting our way through the mean streets of Poopston. <laughs> yeah, I keep making poop jokes because I just call like the other side, like the rusted grow side. We just call it the poop poop side, you know? Percent <laughs> for that. <laughs> Your emotes are so cute. I love them. It's so nice to meet you. Um, not me sitting here questioning how I even end up here. <laughs> uh, hi, service. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You know, casually pooping my in my pants, you know, through this game, as you do. Following a demon child around who likes to troll us and attempts to get us murdered, but it's fine. You know, we went from talking to pizza to poop to people cooking food in hotels. Yo! I know. Dude, the guy who cooks full-blown meals in hotels. You know what? I, you gotta love that man. He like, he can make like a toilet bowl soup and somehow make it like edible. I don't know, man. If, I, if that guy you're talking about makes like a full thing of ribs and, and slow cooks them with a freaking hair dryer, I know exactly who you're talking about. Bless that man. You know who you should look up next? Next time you want some shenanigans. I don't know if you like raccoons, but you should look up the raccoon whisperer. Okay, I forget his name is something Blackwood and he feeds raccoons and he makes regular content about it And I won't spoil it for you. I'll just let you find out on your your own. You go go check that man out He's a tree <laughs> Go look on YouTube. He's fun. He's fun it, it, it just, and, he, and he has a cat the cat just stares out the window like what? And he feeds raccoons hot dogs, and I, you know what? Sometimes I need that content in my life. That's all I'm saying. Oh, dear Lord. Is this going to be a boss fight? Is the crawly thing going to be here? Chat, I swear to God. Yo, those are hacks we need to know. If we're ever stranded in a hotel and we don't got means to make, like, good grub and everything's closed down and all there is is a Walmart open? Come on. We need to know. There's survival. Oh, my God, they're so chunky. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you, I'll show a little snippet for chat since we're we're I'm 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 stalling. Okay, uh, what's his name? Something Blackwood. He's like the raccoon, you know, whisper. It's probably the the raccoon mo like man. I'm sure, he comes up. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. There they okay, are. Okay, it's ten to seven. They know. They're like and your I dog. A bucket of grapes. I'm gonna throw that whole bucket out because I can't get out. The door to do the hot dogs. <laughs> so. Look at the freaking money on the right, here, 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 here. Come on. Look at the gravity flag. There's so many of them. And they're all so fat. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> so they, uh. He's it's, so it's precious, crazy. though. I don't even care that they're fat. I, I love him. He's so precious. You have a big snow again tonight. Halifax got uh, 
traffic is uh, the two bridges are closed in Halifax because of accidents. And uh, before that one, I had never known raccoon obesity. <laughs> Yes. Sometimes sometimes they fight and try to steal more than one and he scolds them. It's great. They look about normal for... I mean, sometimes the, they are fat. So, yeah, I like it, though. He said it when he started, it was, like, during heavy snows and stuff. And, like, um, he was, like, helping them out. I, I wonder, does he still make... Yeah, one day ago. Man's be making content for years. And I can appreciate that hustle. He's wonderful. I wish more like elderly men and women were out there making beautiful content like that. I, it's the wholesome shit I need in my life, okay? When I'm having a bad day, I just look at the raccoon men and say, mm, look at those little fuzzballs. I love them. I have foxes in my yard and I, I wish they were, I need to go like out there and, and summon them to come and be friends with me because they're really cute. I, I actually, we've seen them during the day a couple times now and now I really, we have like two or three of them. I think we have a nesting pair. I don't know, but they're cute. You want to get why Did you get one? The Oprah of Trash Pan. <laughs> oh, of course, he's Canadian and army. There. Dude, there is an army. And sometimes you see his cat and he's just like looking out the window from his house. Wonder if this guy gets robbed. Yeah, yeah. Do they rob him or are they like, they respect him? Okay, this is going to be a, I know it. I know it. I know. Oh. What the, f what the fuck is that? We're just going. <laughs> Stop. Nope, 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 nope. I think there's mouths on those arms. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know what it means. I don't know what's happening. I don't, I don't want to be around for it. I'm, oh. Dear Lord. I noped out of there. I noped the frick out of there. Woo, Oki. We noped and we noped and we noped and we noped some more. And now we're to the beautiful gardens. It looks so lovely in the fog light British lady who feeds a bunch of oh I've seen them I think I've seen that lady I've seen a few different accounts that feed foxes and they're really cute the cat is like if they get in the house the fridge is gonna be gone he's like why don't I get hot dogs probably there's a bunch of weird looking cats outside yeah you don't have a our mouse can't say I do can't say I do well, let's get to exploring. We, oh, let's load her up. We got 62 handgun bullets and we got, uh, 42. Yeah, am my math right? Yeah, 42 shoddy gun. Let's go. We've been looting. We've been conserving. It's only going down from here, I'm sure, so. Well, I'm really mad at myself that I still missed that one section with Maria, but, nah, whatever. Patrick Chester, son of Edward, he fought and died of the people of the literary for all tomorrow and it moves on. We need to go to a praying woman, they said. Okay, that is locked. No worries! Thank you so much! Dude, I'm glad I made it into the air. You're so fun! <laughs> You're so sweet! It's so nice to meet you! Thank you so much again for the raid. And I, I'm glad that we shared the same humor. That would have been so awkward. I'm like, guys, liquid ass. Spray it at people. <laughs> have a wonderful night. And congrats on beating the game and getting through your spookies. You're braver than me. I'm wimping out the whole way there. <sighs> Chat, we're making friends. I'm not scaring all of the other friends away for one. <laughs> With my my poop humor. I love that y'all have been joining in, though. You guys make some good poop jokes lately, and I can appreciate that. I think we read this before on the other side. Wait, are we... Wait, are we outside again? Is it not? The deep... I don't think it's the rusty icky. Are we not in a poop garden? We're just in the garden at nighttime now? Today I learned that bot likes poop. <laughs> We're all learning things today. Sharing is caring, okay? Hey, 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 you know what? We've normalized peeing. 
And we've normalized burping. Let's free the farts and the poop, okay? Everybody has them. And nobody likes having to hold them in, okay? It's a normal bodily function. And my IBS will not be shamed by it, okay? <laughs> I'll be using this later. Bot <sighs> uh, has a CPU, a central pooping. <laughs> Also, how can you not have poop humor uh, playing uh, playing this game, by the way? It's hard not to. And we play the does it flush um, game. And, and I can tell you so far not a single toilet in this game has flushed. And I'm incredibly disappointed by it, as you can see. It doesn't fucking flush. None of the toilets. Why well, have so many? So many toilets in this game just to not let me flush them. Where am I supposed to unload my pants at? Jeez. Ugh. You just... The amount of toilets in this game, it's the most toilets I've ever experienced in one game. I'm gonna be honest. And the lack of flushing is outstanding. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Hey. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> are you... Are you feeling better? Also, there's an ad about to play. I'll pause it once it starts. This place is different from what I remember. I guess... Things never really stay the same, do they? Oh. That, that is true. I guess not. That is true. I don't... I don't... think she's here anymore, James. Oh. Her mom or our wife? Who? My mama? Okay, we're pausing. Thank you for watching the ads. I'm glad you guys enjoyed my my poop shenanigan. My poop poop shigans, as you could call them. <laughs> oh no, we're getting a rain. No. wait them and be like okay we're gonna pause the game it's gonna be casual me runs ad dude poop shenanigans yeah we're having some poop shenanigans hi angel cat how was your stream thank you so much for the the wonderful raid how are you doing how are you enjoying silent hill hello we're, we're currently paused in a cutscene because there's an ad going thank you so much for hanging out and blessing us with the community how far are you how's it going i am casually just you know pooping my pants and and dying inside because i am a weenie and this game is scary and there is not enough heels anywhere <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Let me type to the people. It's no worry. I know Anne's gonna hampion. She was still playing the tutorial. Oh! Okay, I'm glad that I we're paused and I want to spoil. How are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying the game so much. Still early on, I think. Yo, there's it's long. I have let's see. Can we see? So like you can see like at least like I really like on the PlayStation. This is so cool. You can like see your objective. And then like how much longer? is left which i think is so cool i keep forgetting to check this 
Yeah, there's no heal. Okay, if it's any consolation, it's gotten so much better because I got stuck in the beginning, like the first two chapters, where I like kept dying, having to go back to the safe, and like I had no bullets, no heals, and I just had to like wail my way through it until I got it. Now that like I'm trying to think when it changed once I got to the hospital spoilers in that sense um like it got better it got better in the hospital but I've been hoarding them on the off chance that changed everybody who got the ad thank you so much for watching the ad already I really appreciate it, it supports my channel and helps us be a full-time content creator so thank you so much uh and we have paused everything and welcome 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 thank you for the raid thank you so much if you're new here on music he's the 3d vtuber uh, in a Unity game that we made, and my VTuber's interactive, and it's nice to meet you. Um, she's getting demolished by the puzzles. No, I like how you can see how far you've gotten in the. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really fun. I like the chapters uh, that you can view in the PlayStation and everything. But yeah, uh, there is no fucking heals. Uh, if you're an OCD maniac, once you get to there's a there's a time where it tells you to go to an inn. If you explore, you get extra content. But if you go straight to the inn, it, it you miss things. And I'm sad. I don't know what I missed, but it seems like a decent bit. So if you care, there's my hint. <laughs> there's there's my hint. <laughs> If not, it doesn't seem... It, it, I think it changed the ending, actually. I'm not entirely sure. But I I was double-checking a guide because I was looking for something. And then I saw. And I was like, how much did I miss? The whole section of town? Oh. Disappointment. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun, though. But yeah, the hills are are like nowhere to be found i now that i've gotten like farther in the game now i have a bunch but i've also been hoarding them like crazy so i think i think i think it gets better but yeah i don't know why the beginning of the game is so freaking brutal and hard it 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 sucks it sucks man but you got it i believe in you and once you get deeper in the game it, it, it at least got a little bit easier knock on wood i hope for you too <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. If you gotta go D-stream, get your snacks, get your poopies, get your rest. I totally understand. Please, please go do that. And thank you so much. You're so sweet. I don't deserve you and all the love. I've been enjoying it. I think as I've gotten more into the game, I like it more. Maybe because I have more heals. <laughs> but I also keep dying because I'm not healing because I'm like, I'm saving them. I'm only using them when I have to use them. I'm gonna use... And I have more syringes than tiny heals right now, kind of. So I'm like waiting till I'm almost dead trying to use some of those, so... Yeah, I think I'm done with Duos. I don't care of the most popular game mode. Is Duos the most popular? I didn't even know. I like I like Duos. I just don't play them that much. They're all sweaty right now. Ronan, yo, yeah. All right, we're going to get back into it. We are outside after the hospital. And, oh, it says South Fail. So we are in the other world still. So that's where we're at, if anyone's curious. And, yeah. Doing a hitless run? Rubinator, you're doing a hitless run! What do you do? Do you just reload your save every time you get hit? <laughs> it's so good. It's really, it's really good. Uh, visually stunning. Um, the audio is crazy. Are you, I don't know if you're playing on the PlayStation. I wonder if it's different. Um, the haptics is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's my favorite haptic, like, game I've ever played. Like, out in the rain... You can feel the raindrops hitting the controller. And each side of the controller isn't doing the same thing at the same time. So it'll like, wow, like fade left to right or whatever with the sound. It's absolutely crazy. Back to the beginning! Are you a sadist? A masochist? Like, dear lord, that sounds horrible. Have you already played through it several times, Ruminator? Okay. Warning. Spoilers. We're going to we're going to continue in this cut scene. Thank you so much again for hanging out. If you don't want spoilers, just a warning. I totally get it. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, the immersion is so good. I I really do like it. It makes it very scary. No first time. Bro, are you are you that good? Have you had to restart? Are you having fun at all? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. You're crazy. You're you're crazy. You're crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Here we go. Just a warning. Don't want to spoil anyone. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. She doesn't. She doesn't want to see me anymore. Thank you for the Why like. Why would that? <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. Why does she? Why does she think that? Anyway, I'm happy to see you. Thanks, Ronan. Aw. That's nice. Happy to see me? Alive, I mean. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I was drinking. I better get going. Do you want to come with us? I'm still don't want me to go with you? stick together we might just make it out of here out of where this all the town. other people just like seem like out of it like they hell confused no it's fine her voice actress is really good okay i like her sweater oh you didn't happen to see the little girl around here, did you? The little girl? Yeah, I... She just seems very confused and like, she doesn't know what's going on. Angela? Are you all right? Yeah. Angela? No. Is she the one who Please. tried to knife us earlier? You shouldn't be here. Angela, it's okay. No, don't touch me! Oh my god. I almost want to go after her, but it's also not our problem. I, I, god, and then... Uh, with what happened to Maria, it's kind of like... Ugh, I don't know. Oh, okay, hold on. After this cutscene. I don't like that sound. Yeah, she, like, slashed her knife at us, didn't she? She was, like, all crazy and stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my I forgot. My yandere is a little fucked up. Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, the toggle's really finicky. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying your time with me. <laughs> me and Knifey have been enjoying our playthrough thus far. Thank you for coming and spending time with us. Don't forget to drop a follow if you're enjoying the content. Stick around. Okay, and come back later. Or I might be jealous that you were cheating on me with other VTubers. <laughs> you wouldn't want that now, would you? <laughs> back to the game. Hmm, a key. Looks like a broken key, but okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there a note? <sighs> My patient buried it here. I knew he did nothing. But, er, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I made looking for I was looking for tranquility. I also saw the th that thing. I fled, but the old society was sealed. No one dares to approach that place. Now I offer you the key. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Yonder? Mm hmm. <laughs> to the society building! Yay! Wee! We have 
having so much fun. It's so scary. We're having a, a, just a blast. Is there any lootables? I feel like there's not. <sighs> All right. To the next location. Muses play through every single uh uh play through every single note is written by a rogue from the X Men card. Hey hey I I'm I'm like I decided I started reading it in a deep southern accent like we were playing Alone in the Dark again and I just went with it okay. Cause then it then you know I'm reading a note you know, and I like that. <laughs> Dude, it is so freaking dark. Do we need the jack? We did never go up here. Like, we never went to the Baldwin Mansion either in the original time we played, which made me a bit sad. I definitely missed a bunch of stuff because I was skewed. <clears throat> Dude, the abyss is like has like some sound to it. Dude, it is so freaking disorienting to look at this. It is so dark. Yeah, the sound design is crazy. That's what really makes this game scary for me. Because, like, I'm trying to listen for monsters, and it's, like, even, like, fucking breaking stuff is just startlingly loud. Like, it's just the, the, the ambiance is outstanding. Can we go in here? Meow. It's so freaking dark, though. I'm very disoriented. I guess that's the point, though. Have you guys seen people uh, on, posting on Twitter? I saw people posting um, the um, like with a mod that gets rid of the the fog. It's beautiful. The game looks just so good. In my, when I was first playing this, I, I didn't realize until I raided Little Hollow. <laughs> That you could break windows, like I wasn't looking for, for stuff, and so now I'm like a loot goblin because I'm so worried I don't, because I'm just, I've had, been like without heal so often. I just choked on my chips. Eh, it, it's in case viewers can't see the note you're reading from the screen. Yeah. I think that makes it kind of fun, yo. You know? Um, cause like, for me, I mean, I plan on making this into, uh, a YouTube series. I need to go back and edit so many series. <laughs> but I plan on making it into a YouTube series, and when I watch YouTube, I mostly just listen. Are we sure we're in the- I don't think we're in the other world. I think we're in the normie world now. It's strange we never found the jack. I guess maybe we didn't need to. I guess we'll save really quick. But I mostly just listen. Usually play like a app game on my phone. And wind down at the end of the night. <sighs> like that. Dude, the amount of breathing this man does though is unsettling piece of paper on that. Making all the noise. I mean, I know we're going to this historical society, but I'm kind of like just double checking because before we were supposed to, I think, go this direction and we didn't. And I missed out on uh, the whole section with uh, Maria from what I could tell. Which made me a little sad. Kind of hoping we'd find the car jack. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, it's still loud. Sorry, chat. 
Well, that was good. Let's go. Syringe. We'll take that. We take those W's. Thank you all so much for hanging out, though. I appreciate y'all. God, it's so dark. I wish I knew what it looked like in the light. Because I didn't go this direction. Tea's Italian restaurant. Oh, I love Italian. Mm. There's this one Italian restaurant. There's a couple, actually. I lied. There's one, two, two I'm thinking of that I just adore <laughs> in Washington when I go back there. There's the one that's really fancy. And then there's one that's kind of normal priced. And we know the owners of, and oh, so tasty. Ah, uh, yeah, dude, there was so much up here to explore before. I'm like, so sad we didn't explore this in the daylight. <laughs> I don't know where everything is. It's just stuff, 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 stuff. So dark. Surprised there's no monsters lurking around. I guess this is our like exhale moment where you get to just like chill for a second. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I wonder like where the carjack was, if that's just like a side thing or we haven't ran into that or we missed it. I don't know. Feel free to let me know if you know. Backseating welcome. In my weird little streams, because I'm a scaredy cat. And I also like finding everything. I I'm I'm not gonna lie, the somberness is as well as kinda getting to me because it's like, damn. It's a little too quiet up in here. I guess too used to being on edge this whole oh wait hello ah! never mind i found it <laughs> i wonder if we could have found this in the beginning of the game i bet oh well better now than never that was scary though that was so loud Dear Lord, okay, um, let's go back. Sorry, we're doing a lot of walking. Let me heal. So that you guys don't have to stare at that anymore. God, it's dark. Like, it's, it, it's as dark for, I even tried upping it, but it just whitewashes it out. Okay, keep going. It, like, it, if I up it, so, like, it's just meant to be freaking dark and disorienting. <sighs> um. Oh, shooting the fire extinguisher. I totally don't know where it was, so I apologize I missed it. Um, next time I see one, I'll try to, I'll try to do it. Just bonk all the enemies. I think if I shoot something, it does illuminate stuff, I will say. Okay, let's see what's in this, uh... Cause I, I found this before, but I didn't have the handle. Let's turn the game down just a butt hair before we do this. Okay, let's do it. Can we shimmy? Oh, great. I love shimmying. Okay. Now what's in here? What was the importance of coming in here? Which, what's we think? Mass layoffs at Brookhaven Hospital threaten the institution's future. Uh, the layoffs we reported at last month are continuing. Over 10 people have been let go, which w has reduced the hospital staff by more than half. If the situation does not improve, staff shortages will put patients at risk. Brookhaven is a hospital with a long history. It was established in 1810 when a deadly epidemic swept through Silent Hill area. Ever since its um, in 
incessantly brought help to the residents of town. However, more and more have made their voices heard on how the presence of the psychiatric hospital in the middle of the town has a negative impact on the local community. Residents fear that an incident from two years ago might repeat itself. What's the incident, bruh? Huh? Uh, uh, what, what kind of incident? I was like, was that what would have told us the answer to the stuff that I had to Google before? But I don't think so. Well, now this is unlocked. Okay, well, we've already been there. Oh! A Polaroid. I made it. 20. Are they, like, numbered? Like, I know they're not in order for... Uh, mm. Okay, I was gonna say... Is it, like, a secret tunnel down there? But nah. I guess just extra lore, some extra... There's definitely a lot of loot, so I guess doing this extra puzzle. Yeah. I guess in the beginning of the game, this would have been very helpful, because you're so low on loot. Now it doesn't so much matter. Huh. Did I miss anything? I think so. Well. I'll be. Suddenly get grabbed, dude. I know. Well, we... Sorry, chat. Oh, I just healed an extra time. Great. I was trying... Ugh. Kills on triangle. I keep doing it when I'm trying to read stuff. I did it when I was trying to reload... We have 85 bullets now. I guess I've been... I guess I... I save in a lot. Let's go. I'm sorry for... Yeah. My guess is numbers for what you're missing. Yeah, I don't know. They seem like just extra collectibles for like 100%ing and stuff. Which I... I mean, I love... I love that. Especially for like replayability. And a lo I know a lot of people just like... This is such a beloved franchise. And everything that people... People love like... Re replaying it lore like checking out the lore and stuff to it and everything you know so it's cool it's cool wonder if they have is there a a silent hill one remake or nah okay we're back here i am gonna check around because we never went this direction we didn't go to the bolorama etc so i'm just gonna peeky okay we already went back there that's where we found the thing so i'm just gonna do i'm sorry i'm i'm doing some exploring i'm doing a little bit of exploring chat so thank you for your patience in case i missed some things in the daytime now we have to look around in the night the, 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 that was just a shiny i'm blind Oh, hello. Oh. Hello? Whatever that means. Cool. Um. Like, missing collectibles 19 makes it easier to track down. Yeah. Then you're like, oh, I have these numbers. I'm missing this one. Mm-hmm. A little exploding spoo- Okay, yeah, did you see a fire hydrant? I, or did you- do you want- uh, or a fire extinguisher? Do you want me to shoot a fire hydrant? I got plenty- oh, no, I'm go- oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm like- I'm like- <laughs> If you see one, let me know, I'll try. Oh, wait, can we go in here? <gasps> we can go in the Bolarama! It's not- no! But it's fun! Okay, this area we missed because we didn't go here with Maria. So I guess we get to do it now. Without her. Flirting with us. There was one at the gas pumps. I was just... Uh, okay. If I see another one, scream and I'll go back to it. Save station. Save station. Time to look around even though... Cause we missed it last time. We got so many bullets now. Wait. I I keep looking at the cans, thinking of like Stellar Blade and being like, I must collect them. I must collect all the cans. God, I love Stellar Blade. That was such a good game. I need to NG plus it. Maybe, yeah, we could do that, I guess, when uh, the DLC comes out or whatever, maybe. Be kind of cool. Oh, it's so fucking dark. 
probably was really fun checking this area out when it wasn't so dark. <laughs> Trying to remember if I took my meds this morning. Oh, I hate that. I'm, I'm like, I would say I'm like good about it like 99% of the time. I take an extra pill on Sundays, and so that one's the one I forget. And then um, I have a monthly one. And then sometimes I, I'm a little off. Um, on that one, I and then I go back and check my calendar on my phone, and I'm like, shit. Um. But, um, I'm usually really good about it, but there was actually a day, not that long ago, I haven't had one in a long time, um, I could not remember if I took my meds, and I was very, very upset, and I felt like shit that day, so I thought I didn't, and th all of my morning meds, I could get away with taking them again, and I would be fine, like, if I doubled them, they're not, like, dangerous, but it was so late in the day, it was almost time for me to take my night pills when I realized that and I just was like well there's no point now and just feel like turds like but yeah I don't do it very often but I did the other day and I was very displeased with myself <laughs> my mom always tells me I need to get a pillbox and I, I have them I have them and actually use it I'm just I'm just lazy that's literally all it is and like the act of like hand to mouth taking them and stuff I usually remember but then sometimes it's like so humdrum I'm like was that yesterday I'm thinking of or was that today do you know what I mean so it's like I am like oh my god I don't I don't remember and then I again like I said I get mad at myself I'm like damn it me so you if you're not going to remember, you need to get yourself a pillbox. <laughs> Luckily, I know when I pretty much know when I don't take them. Um, within like six hours, get a lot of pain and then I get palpitations. So... What? Yeah. Okay. So this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, is there a forest out there? Oh, I wish we could have saw it during the the daytime. I was curious if if there's like out of town stuff, you know? Sorry, I'm just exploring. I I'm I'm stalling, and I'm also curious since I didn't check this way before, and I know we missed. The oh, I think there's a fence there. No? Am I crazy? How far did this road go? Hello? Oh. Oh my god. In a way. Wait, really? I can leave by not leaving. I can only leave by not leaving. What the frick does that mean? Great. What was that noise? Okay. Gross. Cool. Well. There... There was something. Dude, there's just a giant freaking sinkhole everywhere in this place. Danger, danger, danger. I'm terrified of sinkholes. They creep me out. Oh. Okay. Love that I just didn't notice that on the way there. Thank you guys for chilling. Sorry for so much, like, nothingness. <laughs> I think it did, and I know I took my painkiller, so I've taken the rest. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I used to have one, but then day by day, then I remember when the separate days to put pills in. Yeah, those. Started giving my cats treats whenever I take my meds, so now whenever they start, like, knocking shit over and pawing at the treat bag, I know. That's such a good idea. Linker Poo usually waits to start to eat his treats that I give him at night until I finish my pills. I don't know why he he just does that sometimes. That's a great idea. I know all my pills by sound too. So like Nerva's like looking for my pills. I tell him what it's called. And then I have him shake the bottle and I can confirm it's the right pill bottle because I have so many prescriptions. He has to like, sh and I always fill them. So 
depending on your insurance, you guys might relate to this. You can only refill it like so many days early. And so it's so hard to get ahead on them and not have to be like, well, I need to go to town tomorrow. It takes three days for them to order it in. I just had them refill it. And now I, and now I have two days extra. Like, so we just refill them immediately as soon as you can. Okay, I'm doing it. Nope, nope. We we checked. We checked. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> Hi, Poland. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, is it gonna be like a manor? I'm into it. Spooky time. Spooky. Sp I'm not into it. Why is pyramid head there? <laughs> Ew. Like, what am I looking at here? Oh, hello. I love that just we're breaking and destroying all the things. But it's for a good it's for a good cause. It's for heels. For heelsies. The Lady of the Lat and uh, uh, the unveiling of one of the two statues commemorated in the local folk tale. Ew, that looks really creepy too. Great. Maybe we get to learn about the creepiness though. Maybe that's the point. That's a good idea though, Ramrod. <sighs> okay, I'm getting I'm getting ready. Okay. Um Little Baroness, the maiden voyage of 1916. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm okay. Okay, we can't open that door. We don't have a map, correct? Except for the fact of just knowing we're in here. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I heard the creepiest thing recently watching, like, ghost stuff is, like, I've always thought the spiral staircases are, like, one of the most beautiful things ever. And I'm, like, I have to have, like, some sort of spiral staircase someday. What? Did someone just say our freaking name? It's him. Misty Day remains of the judgment. What what is the judgment? Did he say his name? Did someone else say his name? Or no, did he just like say something and then the dialogue said James because he was the one talking? Oh no, I'm creeped out now. Okay. Uh Will's coal mine established around 1850 and remained operational until the early 1900s. The mine plays a key role in the revitalization of Silent Hill. Mhm. Mm I'm getting like scared again. <laughs> okay, the game the game was a little bam 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 bam, a little too bam bam for me, but now that it's had now it's had too much time chilling. <laughs> now I'm creeped out again. Great. Among the local legends is the the Lady of the Light. The story tells of a woman who was accused and found guilty of witchcraft. As punishment, she was taken to a small island out on the lake, the minuscule stretch of rocky soil devoid of any food and shelter. There she was to suffer a slow excruciating in death as her body succumbed to cold and hunger. Oh, so this is about the guy who would sail across to see her, right? However, unbeknownst to the rest of the townsfolk, there was a young man among them who, having gazed into the woman's eyes as bright and beautiful as a midsummer's moon, had vowed undying love for her. When she was convicted wrongly as he believed he swore that he would not let her suffer such a cruel fate while waiting for an opportunity to abscond with his beloved every night he would sneak out and row across the lake bringing her food and something to keep her warm and every night the woman would stand there on the shore holding a lit candle to help him find a way but then one night when the sky was unexpected unexceptionally clear devoid of even a wisp of cloud the young man set out on his nightly escapade and as always he would look out to the distance looking for the light in the darkness that would lead him to his beloved on that night however the moon shone so bright and so vibrant stronger than the candle could seeing the light's reflection in the water the young man was led astray oh before in the story she said there was a storm that wiped it out not this right when maria told it to us he rode and rode and rode, following the reflected light, hoping, uh, hoping against hope he could reach it. He did not care for his aching arms or for the shortness of his breath, utterly mesmerized by the illusionary light. 
When his boat tipped over, the man was so exhausted from rowing, so weakened were his arms that he was not able to swim to shore. Thus, he succumbed to the watery grave. That's a completely different story. Although left alone, the woman on the island never lost hope. She kept coming out at night and kept lighting the candle. The legend says that those looking for true love can see, still see the lady's light out on the lake, shining to bring her beloved home. Whilst the story is clearly meant as a metaphor and cautionary tale, it is to a certain extent rooted in reality, as the area has indeed seen its share of religious persecution, such as that of... That of what? It does sound like the one, the actual one, Silent Hill Historical Society founders. Gross, uncleaned windows. <clears throat> That's nice. That's what a lovely wind photograph. Very nice indeed. Petition to make me the narrator of this for Silent Hills games. Dude, I would love. I would love to do, like, audiobooks or, like, honestly, anything. I think that would be fun. Voice acting anything is cool. Not that I would be that good at it, but I would love to do it. I would do it for the experience. <gasps> Excuse me. <sighs> Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. Hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to the area. Originally, it was a little more than a shack, but has since expanded into a fully-fledged medical establishment. Then in a sailor asylum. Um, are we going to enter the other side again as if we just got out of there? Who's that handsome land? It's Nerva. Name scratched over is illegible. Former director of the Brookhaven Hospital. Oh. Nerva's a psychologist now. That's why he takes care of me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, great. Back into the turd hell we go. Where it leads, nobody knows. Back we go. Invisible loading screen. I see ya. Cheeky game design, you little you little weirdos. Very nice. Oh, yeah, the Brahms need to stop Brahming. I'm not into it. Yep, we're in turd hell again. Great. Wow, this is a long tunnel. I don't like the sound of that one bit now. Y'all, turn that, that off, all right? Your alarm's been going off. Get up, you got school. Breakfast is down on the counter. Get your clothes on. Hurry up now. Gonna be late for the bus. <laughs> I, I'm mommying. I'm mommying out of anxiety. I love that they just, like, slowly add in some different things to know that I'm, like, not, you know, stuck. Very ominous. Great job. Into the abyss. Yay! We're back in the poop hell! Actually, I don't think we are. It's it's not brown enough. I don't know. It's not rusty and stinky. Maybe never mind. I don't know. Who can tell? September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C221. Sean filter cigarettes. Syringe. Uh, <laughs> somewhere under the staircase in Poopel, <laughs> there's a land that I heard of once. In a nightmare Somewhere Under the, so the Whatever society This thing pooped on me And the dreams That you dare to dream I really wish didn't happen to me. Uh. Someday, James will look for his dead wife and end up in a prison. Ah, uh. dude, I'm 
I'm too scared to to be witty with this song. I'm sorry. <laughs> My wittiness died. Yo, we got more than a hundred rounds. I'm feeling proud of myself for my my looting. I've been hoarding materials and I'm I'm proud of it. Uh, let's see. Toluca Prison Camp, built in 1862. The camp was used to house prisoners during the American Civil War, converted into Toluca Prison in 1866. Great, great, great. Yo, Shiva, thanks for hanging out, by the way. Uh, I accidentally tried to heal and it didn't let me, so that's good. At least, you know. Death by skin. I love that it's framed on burlap. That's so tasteful in these fancy frames. Death by skewering and execution at the prison. Death by skewering at, or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Oh, great. Okay. So, um, I'm assuming the pyramid heads were the, the people who executed people? Is that what I'm... I don't like that imagery one bit. Chin, crimson, and white bouquet for the gods. Mm. Okay, so, so, so what I'm hearing is this town has had way too much bloodshed and garbage on the land. And the land is tainted by a lot of crap. It is replaying itself from the plagues to the insane asylum to the prison camp and the executioners and whatever other stupid ass shenanigans they got up to in here. I, I it's all not good. Gotcha. Note it. Mmm. The poop hole that I, I once saw. In a photograph. Yo, you ready? Let's go, Geronimo! Get pushed down there. Let's go! Jumpy, jumpy. Did you do it? Go into the games. I'm going to push you. You bet you do. One, two, three. Pyramid head is going to get you to do. Okay. Um, there we go. To the garbage hole or the death pit. Uh, is it corpses? Is this the corpse pit? Pit hole? Corpse pit? Which one? Ooh. Garbage. 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 Okay, um. Let's see. Ah, that looks like we can. Oh. It appears as if there's at least two exits for us. Also, I got a fan blowing on me, and occasionally it does an extra little wispy wispy my way, and it definitely creeps me out. I'm not gonna lie to you. Gives me the heebies. And the jeebies. Any others? Ah, oh, that's one too. How many walls can I break? How many walls can I break? I see that we can look everywhere. I love that I chose the wrong two first before the right one. All right. <laughs> Hi, Plum. Good news. Oh, that's great. I think I already know what you're going to say. And it, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I, I am unbelievable. Like, I am so, so, so relieved. Sending a lot of love. Sending a lot of love. You just reminded me. Oh my god, I'm so not into water monsters. There's like, water scares me so terribly. If they were a different kind of monster, I would be, it would be even worse off of. That one section in Outlast. Um, I'm really relieved to, to hear that. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so, so happy for you guys. Send my love to Outlet as well, please. Oh, sending my love. I'm really happy to hear that. It's really, 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 really happy. Can the abyss stop 
like send it like breezing at me the abyss mr abyss can you stop farting my way okay i would appreciate that i don't even know what i'm doing oh dear god i'm hitting the walls i'm hitting the walls i'm 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 smacking and slashing and i uh, turning off my flashlight apparently goodbye oh god chat help me help me what do i do oh my god what do i do oh my god oh uh what is that is that an eight is it a six is it what what is that what do you what do you think fuck I think they're respawning. Great. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Do I need to turn my light off? Chad, I'm, I'm too stupid for this. Dude, they just keep respawning. More beetles. Can... Great. <laughs> Fuck. Can somebody Google it? God damn it. I know! I know! Am I dumb? Like, do you guys- Like, I see this, like, shiny bit, maybe, but, like, I don't- I don't know, man. Like, is the amount of beetles I'm fucking murdering, like, a hint? Like, what? Oh my god. I uh I'm not in hard mode. I'm in normal mode. 239 Yeah, why what how How are you supposed to Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's kill them. I think there's four. Is it the amount of beetles I kill? Did that fucker just jump? Oh my god. Get over here. Oh my goodness. 257 are lit up? Oh. Yeah. Seem applies if only two. Have to use whatever combinations are lit up. Guess the combination. They should only be six. Oh. Two, three, nine are lit. So gotta try the com- Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I would not have realized. Thank you. I understand. I, w I was looking around the room. Yeah. Thank you. Because, like, I that wasn't, like- obvious to me you know so thank you okay okay we got lucky third time's a charm third time's a charm time to leap of faith down the hole let's go jump jump Pyramid has gonna murder us. Jump, jump, dude. <laughs> yeah, I maybe I wouldn't notice the light numbers in time, but yeah, I'm glad you looked it up because that shit was crazy. And for other parameters, the doc said healthy and as as a young god. <laughs> oh, that's cute, Plum. 
That's really cute. I'm glad to hear that. That's so. I uh, thank you so much for telling me. Ah, uh, thank you for googling that, Cassie, because I was like, uh, -huh. I couldn't do it. Hold on. Uh -huh. Seems like the community is like it's a dumb puzzle. Okay, that that makes me feel better. There's definitely okay. I think the game's great, but there's definitely just inconsistencies with the pacing and some and a lot of times. I guess I could look here or whatever. I guess I made a clip at some point. Very nice. But anyway, I could look at like my progression here. Thank you for that, Pats. Um. But there's definitely times where I'm like, where am I supposed to go? What the frick are we doing? You know, you know. A coaster with a scary carving on it. Very nice. And a bloody murder painting. Oh. With a dude over there that I've been ignoring while I've been looting. <laughs> Something looks wrong with him thank you for the house oh it's just hair i thought he had like spores ain't no big deal just put the gun to their head and this is the second scary person i found yo eddie what's wrong with you bro oh. uh, hi james hi buddy how you doing? What happened here? Who was that? I don't know. He just came at me. Oh. Okay. This is a second murdered person, he, he claims. You shot at me. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He made me do it. Okay, calm down. He seems really suspicious this second time. They're all crazy. Any idea why he would do that? Yeah. I don't know. He came out of nowhere. I'm putting my comfort hat on. sneaking up on me in the dark. I heard footsteps, so I turned back, and he was right there. And you could tell that he wanted to hurt you. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the way he looked at me, I just had to do it. He's crazy. He looked at you. I thought you said he came at you. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see it in his I eyes. Just listen. He was puking about he kept looking at me. the one dude, and now this. Making fun of me. Oh. I told him not to, but uh, he didn't listen. Bro, you're making it up as you go. You just murdered him. Eddie, you found it. You, you can't just kill someone because the way they looked at you. That's a nice six shooter you got there right now. <laughs> <laughs> you should see your face, James. <laughs> I was just joking. The guy was dead when I got here. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> well, anyway, I better get going. Oh, what a what a scene! That's disturbing as hell. You're gonna go out there to what? You want? Yeah. The same dude who was chickened out, puking in a toilet, then eating ice cream with the child. Is now like. I don't know, man. He doesn't look like he's been there that long to me. I don't even know if the blood's had time to coagulate. He doesn't have any dust on his shoes. Hmm. Why is it, like, dusty here? Yeah, that vent is making everything cold, it looks like. I might have been here long. I might be lying. He looks frosty. Hmm. I don't know. It seems a little suspicious to me, Eddie. I don't think we can trust him. I was just about to say, when in the Frick Frack Paddy Whack we gotta get ourselves a save station? I believe we found one. He's staying frosty. He is. I'm going to choose to hope to believe. Oh, hello. Oh. 
Something about finding a rifle in games is... Oh, I love those masks. These are great. Very nice indeed. Ugh, is this canteen chapel? Yard blocks. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, but is that five floors? Six? That was six maps. Floor one, main section. Serpent section of floor one. Floor two. Boar section of floor one. Floor three. Basement. Great. Oh, love that for us. My cat wants me. Go to bed, go to bed. I'm actually going to swap to Genshin for the last hour of the stream, though, pretty quick here. Also, just to let everybody know, ads about to play. Thank you guys for hanging out and everything. And uh, we won't do too much anything crazy until after the ad. They still haven't found him. Since he had the cabinet key, we should assume one of the prisoners got his hands on it. Get the spare from the witness checkpoint. Secure the rifle before it falls into the wrong hands. Hmm. <laughs> My false sense of security was broken! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Thank you so much, the Mori. I love you, but I also hate you. How how dare you? You coming in spooking on me, the owl? <sighs> Thank you for the. <laughs> Thank you for eight months. You're you're crazy. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. You did. You scared the bejiblets out of me. I'll have you know. I was just about to swap games, you little turd bucket. Thank you so much for the sub and all the love and all the support. Happy eight months. Thank you. All right. And that's enough of this game for me. Thank you very much. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I'm a scaredy cat that scared me. I wee wee wee. I actually thought I wouldn't scare you. Oh, you got me good. You did. You generally give me the spooker schmoopers right there. I tell you what. I was not prepared for that shenanigans. No sheree. And on that note, we're turning off scare mode. <laughs> God. Uh, how are you doing, Navoy? Thanks for hanging out. Okay, let's wind down. With a little bit of Genshon. Just a little bit. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, is it broken? Sorry. Apparently, we're broken. Uh, let me re-trigger that for you. I'm, like, overly tired. Go to bed, 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 go to bed. Wow. I've been so used to playing such a dark game. This is very bright for my peeper, shmeepers. Oh, it doesn't let me trigger it. I'm sorry. I'll manually trigger it for you. Oops. There you go. I'm doing good. How are you? I, I'm obviously dying inside just a little bit from the game. But we made a lot of progress. So I'm at least proud of that. Um, I'm actually going to sit and check. I'm curious how far we are. So, okay. So this is like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If that's, like, chapter-wise, like, this is how IGNs is split up.
Oh. Hidden trophy. Oh, wait. Oddly, the open pizza is one of the countertops, but I inspect the credit for a glimpse of the past and you get a hidden trophy leftovers. I did not get that. I got this. J I got the jack hand. Into the abyss. Okay, we, we're here now. I think. Oh, wait. Wait. Why does this look the same? I was there at nightfall, I guess. I guess maybe you could have done either of those. Now I'm at Tol uh, Toluca Prison, so uh, I, I guess whatever. This is the, I think you got there during... I don't know when we would have been there in the other world. I don't know. We're part of the way into Toluca Prison. We just did that. So we're like halfway through the game. So that's cool. But I'm spooked out. Oh, it's a guide? Yeah, sorry. I was looking at the guide. But we're going to spit system Genshin real quick as we chill. <sighs> All right. Let's wind down with some Genshin. Uh, you, oh, with the filter I couldn't read? Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. I was... Uh, I just triggered... Manually triggered the filter since. No worry. Unlocked it. Yo, everyone who got the ad, thank you so much for watching the ad in advance. We're just going to wind down with some Genshin. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I hope you guys are having fun. And thanks for chilling with us. Yo, I appreciate everybody. Appreciate all you people. Wait. Uh, Stellar uh, new online. Take part of the primogens and other rewards. Is this the streamer thing or what is this? Is it a survey? Is it an event? What is it? Ah, it's an event. We'll do that later. Okay. Heart rate monitor for Genshin. Uh, I'll just leave it on. Okay. Um, we're currently going into the chasm and doing the storyline quest um, and everything. I'm pretty in the beginning of the Genshin story and it's really crazy. So um, it's been kind of sad though, which um, and very somber, surprisingly. So yeah, but I've been really enjoying it. So I hope you guys like it too. Stellar Reunion is the anniversary of the event that recounts your history. Oh, cute. We'll have to go check it out. Yeah, what's going on down here? There's a lot of color. Magenta. Okay, that looks like something I should not touch. Looks poisonous. Looks like Hafgan disappeared at the far end of this path. Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. Get your light? <laughs> yeah, for real. It's spooky. There are more signs of Hillitrol activity here. All right, let's kick it. Let's kick the buns. Woo! I feel like uh, these between getting back into my exercises and uh, all all the spookies, my heart's my heart's getting its workouts on, chat. All right, let's enjoy this beautiful music. Quite sad. <laughs> like gadget, I guess. So yeah. Whoops. It's a little bright in this mode, though. Oh, 
these hilly turtles look like they're in pretty bad shape too. I wish we could fix them. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Is this what Haftan wanted to show us? Whether it is or not. Light gadget in game? Do we have one? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to skip. Hold on, let me fix an audio thing. Let's turn the music down and the dialogue Paimon, back up. In. Paimon, I have I have the dialogue it's turned down for like normal playing because what besides cutscenes like the the Spurs moaning of 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 Navia. Hilly churls usually store food in crates like these, right? But they seem pretty much empty. Is it because they're so near to the end that they don't need to eat anymore? Are they trapped down here? Even if they don't need to eat anymore, Paimon bets they still miss food for the flavor. There's even a bonfire here! Like what Hilly Churls built in the wild! Wait, but wasn't Dane saying that Hilly Churls get scared of the light when they reach the very end of their lives? Hmm. Maybe, in the very, very end, they still want to feel some light. I might not have it yet, Cassie. Oh, hi, Pister. Uh, just thinking aloud here. Uh, could also be another reason. Yay! 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 That's an impressive filter. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. We we try to come up with fun things. Oh, there's someone left a flower. How did that flower it's a, get this far underground? It's our flower. Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churls? This flower is what we wear in our hair and reminds of of hey, her brother. Now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too. The stamen is the it same. It's the I... national flower of Conria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. Why do we have that in it our hair? It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Conria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying <laughs> the tenderness of the homeland. The flower I've been wearing in my hair since I woke up. So for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... So are we also cursed and from Conria as well and we didn't realize? Your Highness, so the proposal finally has your blessing. In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission. The revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the abyss. Surely they would Thank rather you know. return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. Either. 
You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And you say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. Hey, they have a chance? It is the height of foolishness. They have no chance. The of inside success. of his cloak looks like hers too. Chance. Is she also cursed by already, from Conria? No is, is, is that what Paimon I, is? Having lived with it for five hundred years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself. They are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Why should I believe oh? you? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I choose to believe you. This doesn't mean I completely I trust see. you. <sighs> A 1% chance of redemption. To make the choice on another living being's behalf. Have already chosen the end they desire, especially not when these hilly Yeah, they've it already chosen the, the end they desire. I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. Then let's stick the together for this one. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. So what I'm, I'm a little, okay, so I'm like trying to remember when we did the, la the Halfdan stuff before. Yeah, I remember the other in that we seem we were world hopping or whatever. So it's like, why are we so powerful, I guess? And then the god we're looking for who But it seems like For whatever reason, there's been like we, like kind of like Aang from the last airbender, we've been stuck in an iceberg for hundreds of years, like we're, like, in the current now, but it seems like our brother's been off doing shenanigans for a while. And, um... The Abyss Order wants to revive Conria, but... What I'm confused is, like, why... Why doesn't he? And, it like, why does he hate the Abyss Order? Because the Abyss Order is always doing, like, icky shenanigans. But then also, was, like, Conria evil? Like, it's very confusing, I guess. I guess maybe it's supposed to be. But it is, it's very interesting. I know, they have some crazy I stuff really about Paimon, I believe. I don't mind where we go. As mm -hmm. long as I have my friends I guess me. I'll look and see if I have the light. <laughs> I, maybe I haven't quested enough in the other quest line for it. From here too. Wait, watch out! The mutation is continuing. Has the abyss made its move already? 
I see your incessant meddling continues, and that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. Cool. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network, and it sent you here of all places. This was a catastrophic error. <laughs> I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed. Whatever the price to this time, the curse that torments our people must be undone. Once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainslip. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it. Time to whoop his butt. You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? I mean, why would we stop this? There is obviously something else very wrong if he doesn't want the curse. Does it? Well, doesn't he say that cleansing the curse, everyone will die? So they will all perish if the if they touch the curse, right? Is what he thinks. So if they cleanse the curse, it won't matter because they'll all everyone will like unanimously die, right? Isn't that isn't that what we said? I'm pretty sure that was like the. I need to swap her to like lightning or something. I don't really like her geo powers. Ah. Okay, I'll start with Conria, and the answer is no, not evil, well, not originally. When, uh, what I've pieced together, they made something pretty decent advancements in science, but some shit happened in the abyss, which they were using for power, it got loose, and caught- Oh, so it's the abyss from another realm as well then, maybe. And the reason the power got loose and caused a lot of problems is that the heavily principles kind of smoke smite them to, for their vanity oh so the gods were like bruh you knew not to touch with that you released all this evil so now smite and then everybody got cursed there's no time to celebrate the abyss orders device is activated yeah, but there's still time to destroy it maybe like letting them all die would be better than it right, do they get respawned go. like every hilly churl that we're killing are we killing them or or that's what i'm confused of are we killing the people or the, is the hilly churls like respawn after we kill them and that's why they come back so they they can't die the heavenly principle so what is the heavenly principle what is that Mm. It doesn't look too good. <laughs> Archons are under the principle that, like, gods of gods. Uh, okay. Like, from Celest from huh? Celestia or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Cause like so like like we just did um check the situation in chamber at the center of the ruins summit do I need to go up again I see oops me getting see I will drop you down in other games just clicking the wrong buttons what what am I missing? Uh, should I should be bringing out Bird Mama to come help? It's clam. Okay, maybe uh, I'm we'll gonna bake up. Yeah. So are they? So they're are they? They're trying to release them. I mean, you would think. Where am I supposed to be checking over here? What? 
Is there up more? Am I dumb? It's like I was up there, but it said it wasn't. Mm, check the situation in the chamber at the center of the ruined summit. What? I mean, I was over there, but it said it was over here. Am I dumb? Maybe. Do I need to shoot that? I don't think so. Mm. How do I get up there? It's just... Down or up? Yeah, I'm like... Let's teleport back and see if there was, like, something higher I need to crawl into or something. Uh, maybe we need to go up this. Oh, wait. Was that a telep... Oh. Nah. I see. <laughs> Ooh, high-quality cutscene. Look, the amplification device. Did it hurt him too? Am I too late? They're in agony. This is no way for them to meet their end. Find a way to stop that thing. Is it half Dan? I have Dan. Ugh, don't do it. Stop it with his body. Did he get destroyed? He's gonna absorb it. I thought he would have been turned to ashes in an instant. Halfdan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Meddling fool! Encumber us no more! That thing is scary looking! Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on. This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me. Take him out and deactivate the device. Dude, this thing is scary as fuck looking. Yeah, I was the portal. I just didn't realize that because I'm boom. Can we save? Can we get save half Dan if we're quick enough? Oh no, he got his little thing. I tried to be quicker. Unfortunately, those are questions people want to answer too. It's not revealing yet. Just get snippets. Uh, fair enough. Can we save half Dan? I'm trying. Come on. We just lost. Uh, what's his face? Tepe. I don't want to lose more people. Just not. I love that I'm just. I'm just sitting here tanking him. I don't care. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the story be good. Let me take his place. As long as the device is active, the cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them quickly.
Oh. Okay. Dude, it's so it's so scary though. Okay, what do we do here? Oh. Oh man. This is gonna be quite the boss fight. That's okay, we're ready. We're locked and loaded. I I can't imagine the other ones are Speed run, saving half Dan. Let's go. She's the she's the medic! It's for medical research! She is my spirit animal. Don't worry, don't worry everyone, we're gonna save you. I feel bad for all the peoples. That syringe is not for medical research. Yes, it is. Huh. Coming at you. Attack. Apart. Let's see. Right, even the non like story great like the witches circles and the dragon siblings. Yeah, it's crazy how much Yeah, no, I think that's what's great about it. Like I know a lot of people don't like these kind of like gotcha games but the beauty of it always having content is you can play free you can play free content but it's always updated because of the paid content so you like you always are constantly getting stuff so like if you get like a story-based game it, once you're done you're done you know what i mean but like in a lot of other games like y you know what i mean so like you play through it it only maybe gets a couple dlcs and then the game's done you know and if you're lucky, there's like modding support, you know what I mean? So like the the beauty of a game that does have gotcha like this is you can play f free if you want. You, there's plenty of opportunities to, that it doesn't change the game that much. It's not like, you know, you get plenty of free stuff and then the game is always getting updated, you know? In the beginning, it's kind of barren because of that as well. But um, what, if you wait a little bit for more content to come out, then, you know it's at least uh you know then there's like still stuff which yeah they and they always give you stuff and yeah so i'm happy i waited a bit though um same thing with, like like wuwa there's only so much content and i've kind of like not hardcore it so there's now there's plenty of stuff for me to fart around with i've been doing the main quest but there's still tons of side content i haven't done i uh, enjoy that I wish I would have done the the one of the the character quest of the painter. Yes. Wait, is there a teleport there, or am I crazy? How do we get there again? Uh, there was a quicker way last time that I did it. Um, how did I do it? How did we go up there? Was it the other portal? No. I think I'm dumb. I know they're- oh, we climb up this. My bad. Okay, hold on. Too much time or lack thereof? Ah, oh, fair. Fair enough. But yeah, I mean, now, in the, the when this game first came out, you kind of had to, like, keep up with it, or you couldn't play the events. Now it's not really like that, and I like it a lot. But on the other end, people in Conria kind of also fucked everyone over. Ugh. So many people that write off Genshin because of the gotcha. But yeah, no, I like I like the story. I had tons of five star. Yeah. I mean, I grinded for like not like my C's on Navia and Sijuan and like a couple other little things. But like over other than that, a lot of my stuff has just been what we... And I don't log in every day or do all the stuff by any means. I'm, like, not... I don't keep up with it. I just casually play it. The burning sensation has indeed stopped. So, we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan? What about Hafton? Let me check. Dane must be really upset. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long. <sighs> Let's go. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the game, though. I, it makes me happy to be playing through the story like this if you guys like it so much. Huh? Uh... Is he okay? Huh? Is I... he healed? Huh? Is, he, is he healed? Ah! Oh, he gets his spirit. <clears throat> 
Is he get to be set free though from the curse from his for his sacrifice? Apologies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no, for five hundred years you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Conria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Oh. Is he Correct. gonna lie? He lied. So, no need to revive the homeland. Hmm. More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. <coughs> He's not well, you bet. is he? We'll be super careful. Oh, but dang, does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. Right. Well, actually, Baimon already knew that. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good rest, Dane. Oh, you should take a vacation! <laughs> vacation? Why is Paimon oh, always me? The very notion. <laughs> this word has no business her. being in my vocabulary. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway. And I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. I'll be on the lookout. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Sheesh. I am sassy. You know how to hold a grudge? Saving that snide remark right until the end? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the MC of Paimon to see your brother again? But at least we learned some useful info, huh? As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again. And everything will be back to normal. Right? I don't oh, know, Paimon. Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now. But, uh, <laughs> how are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people, Dad. And, uh, yeah, mood. <laughs> We'll figure it out. <laughs> don't forget about the commission when we're done here. Time on is me. Echoing in the depths complete. We did it! Man, that was somber AF, but it had a nice ending. A beautiful lie. A beautiful lie. Sad, but... You saw it, he was like... I'm a lie. Like, you, you can see it on his face, see, that he, when he made the choice. It's like, yep. We're gonna... Dude, you know what's ge been getting so dark, though, that it blows my mind? It's freaking Blue Watch. It, like, it's just been banging out the dark lore, and I'm just like, stop! <laughs> stop! Okay, we have the wrong... Where is the... Which quest are... Give me a second. Sumeru. Yeah, I want to complete. Where's the other cat? Okay, Chasm Spelunkers. Go to the Exposition Team's camp. Having the Kinnelor, you can see the great infrastructure. Where's the other... Teamwork. That's the Adepti stuff. I was waiting to do that with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I I was like confused. I thought we would go report our findings. What about this one? Why can't we continue this?
Yeah, this one. Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I was like, where? Ah. There we go. Okay, the chasm delivers. Okay. Um, uh, I c go to the exploration team's tent. This might have been the continuation of the other one that I was doing that was dialogue less. That I did a bit without you. And then when I got down here, I was like, boo! I activated all the stuff above. And I thought it was just kind of like side content. And then I was like, wait a minute. Um, I believe... So, uh, what you guys missed... Is that there is... Uh, the Chasm's been having all this weird stuff. They finally got allowed to unlock it. They, uh, the, the like... Um, Big Mama Ning Wong had it sealed off, so we had to go unseal it and do all of this, uh, different stuff just to come down here, and then they came down here, and then, uh, the lady we've been helping, she's kind of a ditz, uh, she, we, uh, she's, like, missing people, so we were looking for clues for, like, the missing, uh, group of people, I believe, and so I believe we're on the trail of trying to figure out where they got lost. Yeah. So dark! Playmon can hear strange noises. See, it's un- it's un- voice acted though which is a little bit um to claim you got to go to the adventurers guild oh okay so that is the next step is claiming it i said ow okay those are danger those are danger mushrooms got it okay um you can fill in the voice acting, except for when I'm doing something and Paimon just starts, like, yapping. I'm, like, over here, like, ah. Can't keep up. Oh, hello. I always forget I can't do anything about that. What is that? That little lizard was very cute. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a side story stuff. This is how I got to the chasm the other way. So it opened up a different direction than how we came in for that other quest. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a maze down here now, isn't it? Um, hello. Where's the missing camp peoples? It's on autoplay. Okay. Here we are. Um, a strange, weird, uh, Zyfang run off to. Uh, hey! Uh, I can't say this. Z Fyong? I, I don't know what her name is. Z. <sighs> I'll wager she's gone running off some other corner of this place to draw her maps. Uh, is she in danger? <sighs> Not yet, but if she keeps running off without informing me, she'll be quite soon. She'll, she drew this just, uh, after you left. She probably gone deeper in to explore. Think of the hydrate. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah. Please tell me, um, tell her for me that she should quit leaving everyone else behind and go, and running off by herself. If anything bad happens, we're all gonna get it dragged down with her. Jinwoo's fist will have no mercy, I tell you. That sounds scary. <laughs> Pretty scary indeed. All right, then. Let's idle talk. More action. Um, you can help. Uh, you either help me set up here or you can go scout ahead. Um, sorry if it's not the most courteous. Uh, I'm not the most courteous character. I just want the things I do to be of use to everyone. Uh, yes, by the way, if you see some raw lumen stone or along the way, bring some to me. I'll find some way to turn them into more efficient adjuvants. As far as my experience can tell me, these things will be very useful down in the mines. Uh, you, do you have a high resting uh, heart rate? I do. I have um, I have a I have a heart condition. <laughs> I've taken care of it, as you can see right there. Mm -hmm. It comes and goes. <laughs> yes. Yay! She drew the map for us. Thank you, Lumenstone Ad Advent. Oh, she wants stuff. C. Kiong? C. Kiong? I can't do it. I can't say the. I'm just gonna call her J. Or Z or whatever. Uh, so yeah, you you don't have lights yet. My bad. No, it's okay. Mine's around a hundred at uh, uh uh as well. I think it's my meds. Oh, whenever I go to the doctor, the nurse looks at me funny when they take. Dude, for the longest time, they didn't care, and it's always been this hot. And then they're like, you must be anxious. Um, yeah, uh, it's been getting better. I'm on a second additional medication. So before this additional medication, 
Um, I was um resting, laying down, deep breathing without talking. Uh, usually around 115. So it's actually way better than it used to be. Um, we're working on it. <laughs> uh, I would definitely say if it's something that bothers you, it's always good to kind of keep in check because if, uh, there's, there's, there's like a ton of people, um, a lot of, a lot of like nurses who are like small Asian women. Cause I had an Asian doctor. He talked about this. Um, good night, husband. Thank you so much for hanging out. Mwah! Sweet dreams. Thanks for uh dealing with all our shenanigans. Um, I said a lot of times there are like these nurses who are like always on their feet and everything. Um they they um they like some people just high resting BPM is just their normal and there's nothing wrong and that's just like something. Um, but it definitely if it's something that like egg they do keep in check because like over time, if it's something that like is existing in your life and causing aggravation to like other health conditions or like constantly like poking the bear uh you can get an enlarged heart over time so just to keep it in mind and and keep it on check i had um an echocardiogram for that so it's just like an ultrasound on your heart so that we have kind of like a baseline for like the anatomy of my heart, the anatomy of my heart doesn't have like holes in it or anything abnormal and the size of it is normal and to like have it as a, like all of the valves and stuff, like how they look, how they function and work because they record it too um, and as like a baseline so that like as um, you continue, uh, did you have to do a treadmill test? I actually have never had to do a stress test, but I think it's because um I, I guess I'm already in some weird, I've never had to do one, no, um, which is surprising, uh, but <laughs> it's because I'm, I, I'm intolerant to exercise, so I already, I think they're already like, whoa, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm not on the list or whatever for a stress test, yeah, and I, I didn't have a sitting adrenaline one either. The I I hear they're awful. They're worse if you have if you can't have the treadmill though, and you have. I feel like have you heard the one where they inject you with adrenaline, and then do it. But yeah, I actually haven't had to have that one. <laughs> but definitely, uh, I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. It's for the most part when it's it's consistent and doesn't bother me. But when it fluctuates and I have like. 90s to 115 day and then I have a, a ton of um yeah some people can't walk so like old people or different things so they'll do a uh uh an injected stress test instead um if you're not a candidate for a walking one which I feel like that's worse no fucking thank you <laughs> but no I haven't had to have one um but yeah <laughs> hi farmer hope you're doing well um but yeah they, they inject you with the uh, with the things it's kind of spoopy i believe so unless i'm crazy maybe i imagine that you can google it fact check me i'm pretty sure they do that i might be wrong it's very possible very possible indeed okay let us continue as we do. I'm glad you had fun with your friends. Sending love. Oh, hello. Watch out. Why are you here? Yeah. How dare you come and, and distract us from our adventuring? Look at that turd burger. I think I didn't murder him and I just left. Oh, hello. Is this not the direction we're supposed to? I think it is. They're over here mining and stealing loot. You treasure hoarding turds. Yeah, if it's like, uh, if you're like healthy and stuff, I mean, a lot of people live like their whole lives with tachycardia and it's fine. And if it ever bothers you, it's always something, you know, if you don't, if you don't have an irregular beat, you don't, I'm not a doctor, don't listen to me, but, um, 
A lot of people live with them. They don't need treatment. It's just fine. It's just definitely something to keep in mind. Um, because again, like you don't want to like have a your heart having to pump too hard and then it just like dam like being damaged over time. Hence why. I but I, I mean, we're talking like mine was getting up to like one sixty on medicated. So it's a you know. We're not talking about, like, it's, like, going a little bit. We're talking, like, oh, my God. It's not doing full pumps anymore. It's just doing the shimmy shake shake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I think at this peak when I was hospitalized, uh, it was, like, mm, maybe, like, 172 at its peak. Not good. Not good. Not good. You don't want that. It gets too high, your your heart stops making full entire beats and it just starts not pumping very good. You don't want that shit, no. Oh, my dad's a doctor? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's cool. Is it cool having a dad doctor? What kind of doctor is he? This is fun. I have to ask my parental units, but they are on vacation. I need to set up my VR headset. Yo! It's held nice here. Hi, thanks for hanging out. We're winding down after the scaries. My dad's doctor. A large part of it is understanding how certain foods interact with your body. I've personally been researching certain food choices and adapting. Well, I'm glad that it helps. A lot of people diet is a is a really nice change and, and good for them. Yeah, okay, a hundred yeah. So like mine would like jump and get stuck and was positional, obviously, and then during that incident it was high. But like I was always like sitting at like all the time this is me medicated by the way if that's not obvious it's this high medicated so as you can imagine unmedicated at like at least 20 bpm like resting so like 90s me like actively streaming and talking to you is pretty good um 80s is insane it's like life-changing um usually like sometimes i'd be laying in bed and it'd be chilling at 115 like not talking laying like completely reclined chilling all that stuff you know you know what i mean and then um like doing stuff we're talking about like always being above 130 hitting 140 often so then at that point you're like okay we get to intervene but like the 115 was me medicated i mean still so uh the, the worst part is for mine Easy lax to get stuck. And then if it gets stuck and I can't kick it out with extra medication, then I have to go to the hospital and get fluids and then injected with medicine if that doesn't work. Uh, it's annoying. But the difference is a lot of people are like have tachycardia for different reasons. Mine is just like my nervous system is a turd. But yeah, your dad's an OBGYN. That's so cool. So much more. Uh, Jenny will have some words for you. Uh, it's the whole spiel about safety again, isn't it? I'm sick of hearing it already. I grew up in the mines, too. What wouldn't I know about the hazards down here? As for any unknown dangers, our seniors always used to use their experience to judge whether things are dangerous or not. And in the end, they'd use the results to rationalize their expert experiences instead. I've had it up to here with their arrogance. I'm sure you feel similarly as a senior adventurer, don't you? If Iris was able to scare you off climbing Dragon Spine uh, or, 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 or like just by giving you a standard safety talk, you wouldn't miss out on so much adventure. All right, stop trying to persuade me. I don't want to argue with you over the, the something this dumb. Can we just, uh, you know, change the topic? I mean, look over here. I currently studying the terrain over here. All the be um all the better to draw our maps. And just uh that I found the the uh that the way ahead is blocked by something strange stuff. If you could take some samples or pictures of it, uh, I'm sure the both the Ministry of Civil Affairs and Adventurers Guild would be quite pleased. I would have done it, but I dropped my camera when descending into the mine so i can't only i can only rely on you right now please also here are some new spot uh, uh a few other spots uh here i found the tracks and the treasure hoarders in these areas uh, sorry which place is where now paimon doesn't understand you all uh you just drew a bunch of x's and lines uh, sorry just a force of habit i always forget that not everyone is born with the natural instinct of cartography uh but it's all right i'll, I'll follow you and show you the way ahead 
Um, we can approach any of these field locations first, so pick whichever one you want. Uh, okay, let's go. That has cameras, not cameras. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are the Genshin style cameras. They're different. They built different, all right? They built, they built different up in here with that stuff. <laughs> <sighs> okay, um, let's look at the map. Did she give us X's and drawings or are we just farting around? She just wants us to beat up the treasure hoarders or what? Is she is she gonna dialogue us when we need to like ex like she said it was blocked so maybe we just need to continue to the like as we go maybe? I'm not good at following directions. I'm dyslexic, leave me alone. User two OP, uh, Navia two OP, um, and she hit she has an umbrella shotgun and I'm I'm here for it. Okay. Yuzu has a good caring voice. I don't know if that's a compliment. Thank you. I'm not entirely sure that was a compliment. Thank you, though. I'm here all week. Ugh. Okay, let's just continue down the way we go. Because she was looking off yonder, wasn't she? I can't tell the difference between the Paimon via... Ha! <laughs> Bless you. Bless you and your... Your... I, I see you're trying to riz me up over here. Thank you. Uh oh I think that's the right one. We're just gonna keep farting our way down the case room and see what happens. She said there's like mysterious stuff like blocking and that she'll like tell us. So I'm just gonna like continue. I mean, she means this, this purple shit, right? <laughs> it's K for camera. Um, Should we take a photo of it? Uh, chat, I'm getting too- I accidentally- I don't know what but- oh. That's definitely what I made to- to- I mean, am I supposed to take a picture of that? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing! What is that? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna get this thing. Okay. I realize your outfit looks like a, a bumblebee. Navius? As a transformer. I appreciate it. Sailor Money, hi! Macaron Mafia. Uh, the other lady, not Jinwi? Because, yeah, is, it, is this the right one or you don't think it's the right one? Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. I understand now. Okay, well, that's... Okay, well... Okay. Okay, I'm my beard. My beard. Okay, it's fine. Whee! Thank you! Arigato! I'm stupid! Imprisoned! Uh, Paimon thinks they overestimate something. Okay, well... Uh, wait! You're... You're only here now. Wait, brothers. What? What? Hats? What? Darn it, come on, we're getting out of here. What 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 about hats? What are we doing? See, this is when when you make me go into battle, but there's also dialogue. I can't I can't focus. I I have a one track mind, okay? I'm not cool enough to read all that. Can you guys tell I'm itching my nose with my upper lip? Help! I'm stuck in here. Spelunker is a fun word. Spelunking. Spelunking. Isn't technically spelunking cave diving? 
does not spelunking have to do with water? I don't like it, though. That's my worst nightmare, by the way. Water and... Bleh. Tight space. Bleh. Uh, thank you for saving my life. Uh, wait a moment. I remember you. You're the talk lifo guy from back at the mine. Uh, what? No, that wasn't. I don't sell any fake medicines. I'm Clitafo. <laughs> yes, but not the one in the pharmaceuticals. No, sir. Uh, so the medicines you were, you sold were fake? Uh, what? No, impossible. The medicines I sell are 100% the real deal. I mean, you saw the miners. They drank it and they felt great. Uh, you didn't, and didn't you say you were the non-pharmaceutical Clitafo? Uh, yes, right. And that was after my life selling medicines ended. And it all ended when that, when, uh, the talk lifo sold fakes under a false identity. He sold fake medicines under a false name and ruined my reputation. That's right. And that's why I swore off selling medicines forever. And just as I was changing tax, it was captured by the band of treasure hoarders. Uh, yeah, the charlatan is truly just, uh... Despicable. Uh, yeah, he's a real piece of work. To want to trick those in the same business as him like that? And so that was the false name of the Tecliffo again. Glitafo! Oh no, wait. Glitafo isn't a fake name. It's a real one. <laughs> Doesn't that make Tecliffo te a fake name? Uh, no, wait, yes, he took my fault my name falsely, so Clitafo is now a false name. You Were you clear, right? Uh, so Clitafo is because of real name? Uh, what a shame. <sighs> what a shame? Uh, you really, you nearly confu uh, confused without us having to try too hard. Let's take him back. The Milanif have a lot of questions for him, most likely. Or we can deal with him right here and now. What? Hey, hey, this isn't the time for such jokes. <laughs> but one thinks it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, but you're not laughing and no, this isn't funny at all. Uh, you're right, actually, because you're about to get serious. <laughs> wait, wait, this isn't the time for interrogation. Uh, I know about, uh, I don't know about you, but carrying a treasure hoarder you're scared half to death around doesn't appeal to me for one bit. Either way, let's take him back to the camp first. Hey, hey, take me along, would you? I, I'll be useful to you. I mean, as you can see, I've been kicked out of the treasure hoarders. So now I, I'm upstanding citizen again. Okay, there's an ad. Damn it! <laughs> I can't even say all the things. Good night, Shiba. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Ugh. Cl Clitafo is a name. Yeah, yeah, and that's no technical. That's the term. <laughs> yeah, I was in your quest list. Uh, yeah, the dude selling drugs to miners. Rest him. Cl Clitafo. Just sure. And they do. There's a cat over there. They want schnagels in bed beds. I see you, see you. What are you getting into? You're smacking, smacking your lips like you were dipped in your good. You got daddy hair in your mouth? Hi. Hello, Princess Puppy Buttons the third. Sorry, I'm enjoying my puppies. Where's my other puppy? Hello, Mr. Whoop. He's cuddling the fridge. <laughs> Look at him. He's right there. Look at him. Screw the puppy bed. The brand new fridge is his snuggle buggle. He doesn't cuddle me anymore. He cuddles the fridge. That is his new home. <laughs> the pause about Clitavo's name made me laugh. <laughs> and then there's the Miss Sissy Smizzy. Hi, Sissy Smizzy! My room's a mess because they were like installing the fridge and all that. Oh, my dog is using his bed as his pillow. Dude, uh, like, Linkerfoo the other night had propped up. He, like, does this scratch, scratch dance, and he, like, digs the floor and tries to bite it. And it's absolutely a maniac, and I love it. And I, he, do, he used to do it really secretly, but now I encourage it, you know? 
And so now he gets into it. And he says, screech, scratch the bed. You screech, scratch the bed. You get it. You get it. And he goes, eh, eh. and the last few nights I've been like on the toilet and I take a little poopy or a pee pee. But then I sit on my phone for a little bit and I hear him summoning the scratch demon, you know. And I think to myself, he must be scratch scratching the floor. And I, I, I finally, I go out of my bathroom. I finish doing all my bathroom stuff. And then I come out and I look and he's on my bed and he is like, rearrange all the blankets to make himself a little pile and then like is on the king of the pile looking at me like <laughs> the other day I took a bath and at first he was staring at me in the bath and then he went to sleep and I'm like okay and I got out and then I I leave and it's been like an hour like I took a long bath and I got out and then there he was on my bed just chilling like I've been here waiting for you <laughs> And last night, it looked like he was gonna stay. And so I like, I like got in the bed stealthily and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm like kind of comfy and I like got the light that was near me so I could flick it off and I'm waiting for him to sleep and I'm a little uncomfortable. So I shift in the bed. Then he remembers he's snuggling me and he mustn't sleep up. Dude, he used to always sleep in the bed. Long story short, if you guys don't know this, so Linker Poo is a rescue, and he loved, like, everything in the beginning of, like, when I first... Also, thank you guys for watching the ad. Um, he used to love, like, all the things, and he always slept on my bed. When he fir when I first got him, he wasn't allowed on furniture, like, obviously, from wherever he came from. And so I'd pick him up and put him on the couch or put him on the bed. I used to be strong. And um, he... So he started sleeping on my bed most nights. So he'd always sleep on my bed. And then um, a few years into having him, then when I was in college, uh, I got him a dog bed. He just never, I never had like a dog bed that was his. I had like a dog blanket and stuff. I don't know why. He just slept on my bed and we had dog blankets in the rest of the house. I don't know why. He just never had a dog bed in my room. He always slept on my bed. And so um, so I, I got him one and he was like, mother, you have gifted me the presents. I must treasure it forever. Never slept on my bed again. But I didn't have the heart to take it away. He was so, he treasured it. <laughs> so he gets up there. He cuddles me for like while I'm awake and on my phone and stuff and like sitting up and have the lights on. And then the second I like crawl into bed, like, uh, like put the blankets on me, lay that like fully lay down instead of sitting up or turn off the light. He's like, okay, I'm out. And, but every once in a while in a blue moon, I wake up in the middle of the night and I realize there's something touching me and he's like snuggled up and I'm like, okay, <laughs> Ma, she wants to, uh, to go to bed, but uh, I want to stay up and watch me. No, you too cute. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. But yeah. And steal my pillow. That's what Zora does. That's what Zora does when she's in my room. And she just like, I wake up and she's like wrapped around my head or trying to kick me off my pillow. She likes my weird pillows. Okay. Let's get through this quest and then we'll go to bed. Uh, so that's what counts for upstanding citizen enough to you, huh? Uh, what are what are your skills again? I can uh, make explosives. Uh, not fake medicine, and your explosives aren't fake either. Uh, no, they're the real this time. Uh, I'm not at liberty to include you on the team, and for how we should deal with you, Jinwoo would be a better judge of that. But I guess she'll just hand you over to the Millilith. Um, uh, but we'll keep an eye on you all. Treasure hoarders are not to be trusted, let alone someone who sells fake medicine. Oh, come on. I don't do that anymore. Uh, we know. We know. Let's, uh, go, shall we? Bruh. The alchemist. Uh, ever since the array was through the secret smuggler's tunnel, these guys are most likely involved in the ore smuggling rings back in Leeway. Dude, I, can, I can't read that fast. With that, it's like, was it originally voice acted before? Bro. This time, yeah. This, oh, this Klitafo fellow is not to be trusted. He left the group, then went to the steal food to rot. <laughs> and he let all the, um, the weasel thieves go free. We've locked him up awaiting urgent judgment. <laughs> By the way, there was an earthquake previously, see, and some people down here um, came afterwards. Everyone should be on high alert. Ah, uh, yeah, so they were down here, and then we, like, opened up it so that they could come down here, I guess. I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. I see. Go to the second occupied camp. Okay. We'll get through this chunk, and then maybe bed. I am eep eep. 
Suspicious looking Boopashkoopa over there. I just want to know who named uh, his parents hate him. Or he's really bad at making up names. Either all either way. Yeah, he he's he's not good at naming things. Let a, or making fake names or real name. He's just somebody needs to help this man. Ah, oh, the abyss order. Hey. Stop what you're doing over there in the fart dust. Hey there. One final warning. Um, you need to you need to stop. You need to stop what you're doing. You need to stop what you're doing, um, little mage lady. Okay, that's enough of that. We've had enough of your shenanigans and your weird little dance is not cute, okay? You may think that it it'll it will give you a pass because you got little ears and a dance, but that's not the case, okay? Alright, what's going on over here? More shenanigans. Ugh. Why is it you again? Ooh, let Clotofa out! It's Paimon's line! Let's go out of here. The deal is off. What deal? Who wants Clotofo? <laughs> Why so much dialogue in these auto plays and I'm not quick at reading, eh? What gifts? Okay. Uh, there's a huge cannon right there. Uh, the mountaineers and the miners. <laughs> okay, I couldn't read that, but okay. We made the acquaintance of a few new companions down here, and they're requesting a few boxes of things to eat and drink. Now we can't leave any new companions to starve just like that, especially when they've got the mora to fork it up in exchange. So could someone get them what they need quickly? Also, this should give us the, the give the, that new guy called Klitofo, you know, the fake medicine man, something to do. I'm pretty sure the mine warehouse store, some food and drink. We're already sent to one batch of people. We're the, we're, what's with the lack of reply, huh? Oh, Klitofo. <laughs> Look at him and his, his, his being a little weirdo. <laughs> Hi, and hello, welcome. Locking mechanism hasn't uh, rusted away yet. In fact, it looks like it's been uh, lubricated. It looks like someone maintained it uh, even after the mine was sealed. The, b the breach also looks a hole. It's just that the safety is currently locked down. What is he talking about? The tunnels ahead were sealed using large rocks when the miners were dispersed. Looks like that's where we're going to need to use this cannon again. What is that? Cute. Uh, but without any shot, cannons, no matter how large, useless. As such, we need to find ourselves some. Uh, don't say it like I didn't know that Mr. Know-It-All. Uh, there's a storeroom nearby that should contain the cannon shots. With any luck, not all of it was moved away when the miners were dismissed. Let's head that way, then. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get him! Did they count? Hey, he gave me a little boopa scoop. Uh, the lumen stone is your inventory is for the purple stuff. Ew, I see. That makes sense. Okay, let's finish this up. Oh, the sleep sheeps. Sleep sheep, sleep sheep. sheep. <gasps> oh, I'm just tired of all the scaries. It poops me out. You know? I mean, my workouts poop me out, you know, but like... Yeah. Can you just... Thank you. Okay, good boy. Good boy. There we go. Up we go. Hello. I say I need to have my... My Zozo cuddle... Uh, Zozo and, and Woo Woo cuddle time. <laughs> oh, I have hiccups. Just little baby ones. They never last that long, but I'll have like a few. <sighs> like actual hit. Where'd the other guy go? I don't think I killed him. Is he in the tent somewhere? Oh, I see him. I don't know if this is where you're supposed to be, but yeah. Thank you. Hello, sir. You're the most annoying of all the things to kill. You just. <laughs> yeah, you. I don't like you. 
Oh no, Chancla, how are you doing today? Thanks for coming and hanging out. As we wind down from playing Silent Hill and do a little Genshining. We finished some of the Archon quest already. And then we, um, yesterday. And then we started the Chasm quest. And we're doing a bit more of that. It's been a lovely time. I realize I think I went the wrong way. Where, oh, where is the thing I'm looking for? Maybe over here. How are you doing? My dog is going to town on some toys. <laughs> Arara? Um. Where's the store? Oh, wait, it's marked on the map. I'm just stupid. Okay, never mind. I'm just very dumb. Oops. From? Okay. Wasn't paying attention. Didn't realize it was on the map. This might be on. This might be on. Okay. All right. Um, we shall wait for the lift, I guess. Big sip. Big sip. Oh, this nice. That's a really nice toy that you got there. It's nice. Oh, that's nice, sissy poo. Thank you. Thank you for smooches. She's got her big sippy. It's like a giant big gulps plush toy. And it crinkles and she's whapping it around. Uh, it, if it doesn't, if it, <laughs> if it doesn't, if it, if you don't do it like enough words, it, it just kind of guesses what you're going for. Cause it, there's so many languages that have crossovers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like these guys are, what are, are they giving us? Like little poops. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, it gives us a little, little something, something. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. There's like a camp here and everything. Um, I don't know. Am I heading the right direction? I don't know. I'm kind of just wondering. Um. Maybe not. I think I just did a loop de loop. Loop de loop, boop, boop. Eat boop 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 boop. Okay, we'll go actually to the point. I'm just dumb. It's fine. Is it below us? Is it above us? Is it? It must be below us then, huh? Yeah. Right here. Oh. It is locked. No worries! Go to bed. We're about to end. Don't worry. Uh, this is the place, but the gate's locked. Looks like we'll need to use two keys at once to open. Oh, come on. Why are you leeway people so conscious answers about the silliness things? Uh, I'll cut the, uh, the, cut the useless chatter. See the notice, um, pasted next to the gate? If nothing else, that tells us that the cannibals can be found within. Well, that's one thing, but how do we know if the fuses have been well preserved or not? I wouldn't get our hopes up just yet. Uh, great, we have an optimist over here. Cut it with the qui um, quieter or qu quitter talk. Yeah, sorry. Would you? Seriously, what am I doing listening to a treasure hoarder doubt us left and right? Um, Klitofo does have a point here, actually. Either way, we need to get this gate open. Yeah. Exactly. Don't you, don't you two fight, all right? Uh, all right, let's continue. Maybe Jinwoo knows how to open this gate. We're pretty busy. After it opens, too, we'll have to activate a signaling device to get the breach open. Jinwoo said that there should be an observation point from the demolition teams that overlooks the cannon and that we'll be able to adjust the signal from there, which will let us unlock the cannon from a safe distance. Mm. So we need uh, a red key and a brown like key at some point. All right. Well, I believe at that point we are going to take a little. Uh, I'm I'm tired. I'm tired, and I am oh, too eepy to do more voicing of stuff. 
So we will call it there. <clears throat> Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, it tr usually takes about five words to be able to trigger it. Sometimes less, sometimes more. It just kind of depends. More. Um, it's based off of like uh, it works off of uh, uh, Google Translate and stuff. And yeah, Swimmy Butt. He's a, he's a homie. Uh, uh, Origami Swami uh, made him. Let's see. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm glad you guys are enjoying. Uh, the <laughs> I'm glad you guys still are having fun with us going back and forth and everything from Silent Hill to to Genshin and stuff. It's it's been fun, kind of like winding down with that and everything. So <laughs> I'm really glad that you guys like are having like tons of fun. Oh, this will be cute. You guys should go and hang out with uh, Mild. He's he's. He's so uh, he's so sweet. He's been he rated us so freaking much during our, our our subathon as well. Go check him out. He is so cute. Goodbye. Thank you for all the French, um, and everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I super appreciate y'all. Um, shout out to all the oh my god, uh, I can't believe I forgot Pixie rated us earlier. The little turd, dude. She's so sweet. Please go check out my lovely friend. Pixie, go check out Sheba, the sweetie patootie for coming in and was here until recently. Hung out so long. I love you, Pixie. Good night, sweetie pie. Um, go check out Xbot, our brand new friend who all uh, you know what we bonded over our pip humor and you gotta you gotta go give some love and go check out Angel, um, uh, Cat who's also always so supportive and is also playing Bot in in Angel and I uh, we're both playing um Silent Hill and then Sheba was playing uh Resident Evil. Three, four, four, three, one of them. Go check them out. Go give all my lovely, lovely friends some love. Thank you so much. Please, uh, if you guys would stick around just a little bit to go and say hi to my friend. Mild. He's so sweet and amazing and smart. And his streams are really entertaining with his like AI bot that banters with you in chat. They're always... They're always so sassy, and I love it. Um, so thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 6 p.m. Pacific or 9 p.m. Eastern. For more Silent Hill, I'll see you tomorrow. Get in the Discord. Check out everybody. I love you. Night.